Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Wildflowers go away after spring. Alright, let's see. I think it's, what, Saturday in-game? So, first thing that we need to do, that I need to not forget, which I forget all the time. Silver Pocket Watcher Power! Slow down time. Okay, we got... Vombat Poo. Nice. Hey, Half Beep. Welcome to the stream. Copper Scythe. Regular milk and some brick bat. Um. We're gonna run out of stuff. This uh, chest has a lot of, or these um, these gamba things have a lot of different things that they can give us. We might have to just assume that all of the paths are possible. Happy time zone to you as well. I've got my coffee. I'm trying to wake up. I wonder if you could only get um, Rupu previously, and like Vombat Poop is like a a new item. All right, what do we want to work on first? Seven thirty. Do want to go bother the animals, bother the NPCs. Look into my eyes, nothing but my eyes. We are like crazy low on our iron, aren't we? Yeah. Um. Let's grab that charge because it is so useful. I think we'll, we'll go mess with the animals for a bit, and then around like 9, we'll go mess with the NPCs. <laughs> These guys are so cute. Look how tiny they are. Wander around and just uh, bother them as you encounter them. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. What's new, buddy? Struth. Erwin, you're adorable. So, let's think about this area. These uh, little pens are pretty big. So the question ends up being How do I want to... Do I want them, like, up against stuff? Like... Sort of like how they're up against this... Is that four wall? Four tall, th like... Aspect?
I think I do want them to be up against like a, a barrier wall. So maybe... Hey, the animal food drops. That's nice. I was pretty sure that stuff just voided last time I, I picked one of those up. I think... I'm a thinking. I'm brain elating chat. Maybe we stuff some of these guys. <laughs> Why is this little guy so much stronger? Just pushing around the big guys. Maybe we... Bust this hill down a little bit. Yep. Then we can move these over a bit. I wish these looked more like their items. You know, with like the green roof and uh, palm wood sides. Like, they look nothing like their icon. Maybe... You know, I'm not going to use the charging thing because I'm not sure if I'm going to be... using these items all that much. Not sure if a fluke or because of the method I used to discourage crocos or a change, but last night I encountered another croco that wandered far inland, maybe 20 tiles or more, and it was just camping on my land doing nothing. I've seen crocos do some weird pathing. It wouldn't surprise me if, like, they can do, like, Like, super long paths. Oh my gosh. Everybody get over here. Get out of my way. We had that one croco, um... What was that? He, uh... He wandered like a good... Like 15 blocks or so from one side to another. Going from one river to another river. And then just sort of danced about when we were messing with the quarry. So they definitely have some weird pathfinding. I'm guessing everybody got food by now. They were far inland. Yeah, it makes more sense going to a river. I don't know. Pathfinding is still a little wonky in this game from my experience. That was weird. Alright, get over here, buddies. Good luck with your adventure. Is 
that's four, three. So that's eight. Um, you want to have at least like a three path around. Sort of like that being there, though. Should probably make this guy a big tree. Could also all right. Maybe we do eat some um, shocking stuff. Maybe. thinking about making this a more sheer interface. And to take morning meds. Breathing meds. Ooh. I hope your uh, breathing is good. This kind of stuff can be scary. My wife has uh, like asthma and reverse airways disease. It's been doing a lot better since she was younger, but man, that stuff can be real scary when you have uh, like an asthma attack. Yeah, you do grow out of some of it, but... be scary. Breathing is one of those things that we all sort of take it, um, not advantage of, but, uh, what's that term? Like, um, you don't think about it, you know? It's one of those things that you just sort of do until you start having problems with it, and it's like, oh, oh yeah, this is really important. take for granted yeah not sure if that's what I was looking for I don't know I'm still working on my my coffee my vocabulary is a little stunted right now acquired asthma in my adult years not hereditary yeah I and mean, depending on what you do for a living, you can also have that issue. That was one of the things that always worried me, worried me about my last job is that we worked with a lot of like fine particulates and um, it's some of that stuff was known to cause a uh, breathing issues. 
It always sort of freaked me out a bit. always that complicated part. How do I want this to be? Um, I don't think I want that coconut there. That was not the desired effect. Maybe something more like that. Oh boy, it's already 11 in the game. Uh, we had 8 over there, 4 over there, so that's 12. 13, 14, and then the idea is I would have sort of a, maybe more of them going this way. And we could sort of think about these, um, like, the sand can sort of pile up next to them. So we can think that, like, the dunes are sort of, you know, pushing up against it. And because it's up against the river, like, it's still sort of protected, right? Um, probably going to want these dunes to not have, to be more, like, smoothie, because, like, that's the ocean. So the ocean would smooth this out with waves. Um, Alright. I know at 9 o'clock I said we were going to do something, but I think I'm going to change that to 12. I think these are going to have to move. I'm probably going to want a terrain behind here a little bit different. Hey, let me play stuff, game. And we have one that's a little oddbally. How can I squeeze this bro in? I guess he could be squeezed like here. And these could be pushed forward a bit. That would make more sense. And then 
we could have some animal feeds around that. Then maybe the path sort of wiggles this way. And then we have another one here. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Let's see, one, two. What was it 12.5 is what we wanted? wish we could do a half step maybe we just do maybe four on the side ah Right. That's like thirteen and thirteen to twenty six. Anyway, let's go bother our NPCs and buy a bucket. Mm, buckets. Fine particles. My family has been exposed to a chemical. All of us developed with asthma. Yeah. Chemicals suck. That makes sense when it comes to certain chemicals, though. I wonder if later we... be able to customize paint on the animal buildings like the guest house. Ooh, that would be cool. I hope so. I feel like that's one of those buildings that you should be able to just place uh, paint on and change it a bit. I wonder when um, James would do those types of updates. He seems to be focusing on like the autumn weather, you know, like adding mushrooms and um, the different color trees, um, different grass. So he's like changing the ambiance, ambiance of the game in a bit. Ambiance, that's not a, I don't think that's a word. The ambiance. So, autumn seems to be more of like a, or the autumn update will probably be more of like a, an, oh, where's Franklin? Autumn focused one, like as he adds the autumn season. I mean, which makes sense, like, he, in spring, I think he probably added flowers. And, and then the summer one, he added the airport, which is sort of like a, a summer vacation location. Location, location. <laughs> it sounded goofy. Adding mushrooms to normal world or special world? Um. So, and you can see it in Reap's yesterday stream. He, um, he visited James Island. And I think it's in this version of the experimental build, but I haven't, um... Ooh, gear. I haven't gotten to Autumn yet, so whenever we get back to Autumn, we might see it. But, um, in Autumn... Oh, I don't want to sell stuff. Actually, I might, but anyway. Um, 
In autumn in the morning, up until noon, mushrooms appear next to trees on different um, ground. I think there's five different uh, mushrooms that you can get. And then after, at, after noon, they shrivel up. But if you place them, similar to like if you place uh, flowers, they stay, they stay there decoratively. I think I do have stuff in this, don't I? Yeah, yeah. John, I got stuff to get rid of. Yeah, I saw a little bit, well, I saw the whole bit of them being at James's Island. Um, here, have some, oh no, I might need the coconuts. And uh, it looks like the, the grass changes, sort of like um, leaves fall on the grass. So like this fur grass turns into this like almost yellow color. Ooh, meat on a stick. Milburn, you're closed on Saturdays. Oh, of course I forgot. You know what? I'm just holding a freshwater mussel like I have something to do with it. I get to hang out in here. Get out of my pocket. So what's like another thing you might do in autumn? Oh, it's almost two. We should go see Sally before it's before she closes. I think it's going to be sort of like um, the different fruit trees where they have slightly different. Um... Oh, we're bald today. Very streamlined. Um, I have no idea what our hair color is because we're bald, but we changed it. I didn't, I don't think he's changed. I think all the mushrooms have basically the same, um, effects currently. Oh, let me talk to Sally. But, um, he might change them in the future. Since we're still in the experimental bill, he's still experimenting with it. Same with like the the grass colors and stuff. He was mentioning that he wanted to um, tweak them a bit. Oh, whoops! Well, you're hanging out with me now, Milburn. Oh, I can't talk to you. Well, maybe we're not hanging out anymore. Yeah, honestly, of all the people, I don't want to hang out with you. Of all people. Counting dick is dink is so hard. All of them boost HP. They eat bacon and stamina a little for 30 seconds, but the glowing mushroom from the mine has the HP decrease effect only if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. I don't remember um, anybody saying that the mushrooms like were very different from each other, but I know that they were only 30 seconds. Ooh, look. Currently paying top dink for yellow morale. Cool stuff. So yeah, he's even adding, you know, the mushrooms to the, the other NPCs. Um... I'm not sure if I have the, the Nordic coffee table. 
pretty sure I have this, but I'll, I'll grab it anyway, just in case. I do know I have this. Basic blue orange. Throw that in there for now. And go bother Clover. And trench coat. Do I have a trench coat? Positive influence in your existence. Mm. We'll change our outfit later. I think for now it's fine. James also said that he doesn't want to make the mushrooms multipliable, like in flower beds, because they are everywhere and mushroom picking would be a fun morning activity. Yeah, I remember him mentioning that. I'm sort of on the fence on if I agree with that or not. Because if you're using them for decoration, like, you're going to want a decent amount of them. And they don't replace grass. So, that's one thing that you're going to run into is that um, if you don't, you know, shave down the area around trees in certain biomes, it's not going to be as everywhere as he's probably thinking. So later in the world, um, like the deeper you are into the game, you might actually have less of a chance of getting um, mushrooms because the grass is all grown in every single spot. So it's, I don't know, like I agree with him like 100% that they are fun to, to go and farm and find and such. But I also feel that maybe if you want a lot of them for decorating, you might have difficulties with that later in the game. But, I don't know. It's also like, am I going to really use a ton of them for decorating? Like, let's be real. I might use a few here and there, but I'm definitely not going to use them as much as I use the flowers. So... Hey Todd, welcome to the stream. Happy time zone. So uh, I'm a little on the fence. I don't really know where I feel about like... How farmable the mushroom should be. I'll defer it to James. Worst case scenario, like, you know. It'll be like how in spring you run around to get flowers as like a priority. If your money and permit point bar bugged 
is not supposed to be there, right? Um, I don't know. It definitely stays there. Um, like it has been staying there since I've been playing the experimental build. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, though. Somebody had mentioned that earlier, that um, it should go away. I hadn't really thought about it, but it's definitely up there all the time. And it's been doing that for the past few updates. We didn't get an update this morning. Or if, if we did, it got like it was an early morning one that I didn't see. might go back around this with uh, the shovel. Change this all to dirt or to sand. Getting ready to head out for work this morning, but saw you were live with income. Well, good luck with work. I have a couple today and tomorrow, my last two days of unemployment. So I'll be like you, back to the, the workforce grind soon. I'm like excited and also not all at the same time. All right, see you later. All right, have fun, Todd. Nope, before you went to Clover, it was different, but food buffs were right next to the map. Ooh, huh. You know, I didn't notice that. I, I wonder if that changes in the morning. We'll have to try to keep an eye on that. Sort of like that so far. We could maybe put some trees there, but let's focus on getting this area set up better. Oh, we still have six minutes of our uh, our buff. Both of mine had been stuck there too for quite a while. I wonder if it's like when you buy something, it stays up there. Or something along those lines. Bats. You guys are slightly in my way.
like a ramp right there. Yeah, it does take up a decent amount of space. Yeah, I haven't found a switch to turn it off and on. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that James is probably fiddling with. Getting the exact uh, because uh, what was it? We saw this bug yesterday that he mentioned. When you open up new animal boxes, you can't toss them anymore, and they open up right above your head. And they mentioned that on Reap's stream, um, when they were opening up one of the animal boxes. And James was like, I didn't change anything in that code, but I must have messed something up. <laughs> so, it's one of those things where you never really know what you're messing with when you're, you're changing code like that. Does it make sense the current way that I've done this? I think we're going to want to wiggle this way. Whoa. All right, bud. I just like teleported over to that one. Uh, maybe we do want these off for a little bit. Maybe we wiggle this way for three, eh, four, and then a couple here, then here. Your Vombats are inspiring and protectors. I, I do want to see them fight something. I haven't actually seen those videos yet. Um... Sorry guys, no houses for you. Should I have this be a too wide path? I think so. Teleporting Vombat. I 
we'll have the main area be three. Maybe this goes this way for a bit. Mm. Maybe it goes forward a little bit more. tree. Gotcha. Thank you. Bob is building an army. Yeah, I'm going for 25 of each. That's sort of my, uh, my number goal. Probably gonna put some sort of path underneath these guys. Maybe brick, maybe rock. Could put wood, but Wood wouldn't make much sense. Game, why are you so weird at the placement? Oh, there's one that goes here. sense for this guy to be here, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have seven. That's twenty, so we need five more. And we can only be eight blocks away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll see, test if that is enough. So I want to change up how these look.
I'm thinking more about Vombat Island. Sounds like a welcoming place. They are peaceful and strong. They're giant hamsters, you know? They make a hamster angry. They corner a hamster. They do crazy things. Uh, 10. That's probably more than I need, right? Alright, count again. That's 12. That's 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Um, maybe we get rid of that one. Hi, I am Tardis. Welcome to stream. I saw a video of one Vombat taking on an Alpha Jackaroo, but not seen one of the Vombat versus Alpha Bushroo. Alpha Bush... Alpha Busharoo. Alpha Bush Devil. Man, not having coffee in my, my uh, system is causing some interesting effects. Alright, I think that's how the general path is going to go. So then we're going to want... it to sort of curve, right? And loop around. Um, welcome to stream and happy time zone. Did you say 25? Yes, 25 for each of the animals. Maybe the path gets smaller on this side. Because it's going to loop back over. Oh, sorry tree. You gotta go. Just woke up, about to get my morning chores done so I can dink them. I've got a bunch of chores to do today. We have to end stream a little earlier than normal. Uh, this tree's going to have to go too. Which is sort of, I was trying to avoid it, but it is what it is. Oof, both of these trees gotta go. I wish we could plant trees with paths. That would one, um, that might help that, um, th that one staircase that you were talking about in, um, Discord. If you could, like, put a, a path or a block above the stairs and then plant, and, like, put like, concrete there and then plant a tree, that'd be cool. like the bald look yeah that was the next hairstyle we had to go with i even changed my hair color not that we have any idea what the hair color is now <laughs> but 
Technically, it got changed. Maybe like this. You know what? I'm going to keep this one here and we're going to get rid of this tree because this tree's into the bridge. That's a little wonk. And we'll do a little squiggle here. Which also means bridge, you got to go. Okay, squiggles. And this one... We were going to squiggle the opposite array, but we decided to squiggle this away. Alright, that's the idea. Um, this looks goofy now that I see it. So I guess we're going to have to get rid of this tree. Womp womp. Bye, tree. I feel like this should be pushed back a little bit. That looks better. Uh, coconut? Did anybody teach you about gravity, coconut? Right, let's just do a quick run around of the path, make sure it makes sense. Got a nice feel to it. Um, this area looks feels a little goofy, so maybe we do one of those. I think we also want to finish this path. Maybe we just... Sort of do that. I don't like going. I guess I might need another tin fence here to have two of them, just because otherwise it feels weird. I wore the bald look for a while. Yeah, you're streamlined. You know, you can run quicker. <laughs> We want to have these types of. I guess these do sort of look natural for uh, an animal pen area. Maybe we don't have these anymore. Hey, Ataris. Welcome to the stream. We chores, eh? Being responsible and an adult has its downfalls, but you gotta get it done. Mm. 
Yeah, I do like the little like ice cream dollop do. The what do you call it? The Smurf do. Yeah, it does look like the um, the halo sort of spins around it. Got a cool effect. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's stack this stuff over here for now. Um, do we have any jacaranda trees up in here? We got the one over there. Little buddy. You know, there's places for you guys to sleep, dum-dums. I feel like... This should be... More so over here. Now that I don't have the... The crafty doodads. Now this doesn't have to be all the same level for the pleat pens. I can expand this little bit of a hill. Your tamed wary move that are near the wild wear. Oh, this is the question uh, from yesterday that um, I'm your TARDIS wasn't available to answer. I would assume that that was from the mod, but I'm honestly not too sure. Let's get, of this, get rid of this tree as well. This banana tree can stay. Banana na 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 na. Banana na 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 na. I don't know why that makes me so happy to say it like that. Sometimes it's the little things in life. Like saying banana na 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 na. so that I could justify placing this tree here. <laughs> uh, my brain was like, no, there needs to be a jacaranda tree somewhere around here. We got one on, on that hill. Now we got a purple tree over here. All the, Everything in the world is good. The Muppets version of Bohemian Rhapsody was that nom 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 nom. I haven't heard that song in a while. All right, um, we have a little bit more time left in the day. So let's sort of plan out how we're gonna do this side of the... of our, what'd you call them? Sandbank dune dunes, that's the word. I 
think they're going to get fairly wide here. And probably peter out right around here. Tree, you gotta go. Sorry, coconuts. You did that in a karaoke duet? The Muppets voices, or tried to? Oh man, that had to have been interesting. Aren't the Muppets like their voices done by like a few people? Sort of like how the Simpsons, there's like one lady that does like half the cast or something. Voice actors are so nuts, man. They know how to do some of the craziest things. Like, could you imagine, like, repetitively making your voice a certain way and getting paid to do it? Like, crazy stuff, man. Alright, we don't have the durability to fill this in, and I don't feel like eating a sparky doodad, but this is going to be one of those big old uh, stuffers, dunes. And I think we're going to have to redo a lot of these trees. I don't really like the way that I laid them out back in the day. Probably gonna have to redo these guys as well. Um, I'm also gonna want to have some water somewhere, so let's bring some water in. Because every beach has a uh, like a section of the water that like pools somewhere so and it's usually on like the back side of the dune right so maybe we have it like over here or something We could also maybe add a little bit of a pit somewhere. I don't like where these trees are either. And it's late. I have no idea of the Muppet voice actors. I practiced the voices for my part for about four or five weeks. Oh, that's a lot of uh, practice. I don't think I've practiced any type of thing like that for four or five weeks. The where or yeah, the where we move farm I have across from Tucker Box. There was ten wild moose I put saddles on, and six that I put stables. Left leg rest wild. I wanted to see, and left the rest wild. I wanted to see what would happen if there were eight moose, now four with saddles. I don't know what happened to the two with the saddles, and I still haven't found my saddles laying around. So you lost a couple of them. I use Wii mods to make all the animals passive. Sometimes it gets boring, though. <laughs> oh my god, words. Yeah, words are difficult. Sometimes they, they're easy, and sometimes they're like an impossibility. Um, maybe Do -do 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 -do. Oh, 
ba ba dee dee doo doo dee dee bee dee boo I think we want to maybe put a little... A little dent, like, here. And it can be, like, um... Like, the ocean pulled this out. Maybe we do a wood cement, wood cement, sort of like, um, this is a part of the beach that's like, keeps getting eroded away. Let's see if I, uh, this makes sense. So like... What's it? One, two, three. Sort of like they're trying to reinforce the beach on this section. Because, like, it keeps getting eroded away. I like that idea. Alrighty, I think, for the most part, that's all we're going to get done today in this world. What time is it? 9.30? Alright. And it's palm wood, which I do not have. And we can't... Where did you come from, Erwin? It is so late. Let's follow him right into his little house. I'm gonna pop right on in. And... Boop. Uh, let's see... Oh... I wanted to try your wary moo experiment. What made me happy was the jackaroo and sometimes magpie became unafraid of me. No mods though. I like that the jackaroos would come up, would go up to you and uh, hang out. Yeah, that is pretty cool. All right, let's charge these dudes and empty our pockets. It would be awesome if you could like drop Kwandongs in front of the wary moo or something and like befriend them in a way. Alright, this and this came out of um Yeah and seashells. Should probably make some of the seashell walls. We should also go check and see, did we harvest from this? No, we did not. Boop, boop, and spring. So far, it looks like that's the only thing you can get out of, um, out of the trash cans. I want to try a Vombat Island where they just live on their own, not fenced. I would recommend putting a two tall wall around it. What you got for me, Clover? Aww. Just a, a nice, nice little phrase. 
As long as you put a too tall area, they shouldn't wander off. But animals will still spawn around there. And if you want, you can maybe um, make it sloped on the outside so animals could walk in, but they can't get out. Another? No, that's a reward. Let's say, is that Alpha Bush Devil stuff? No. Alright, so we need the gum wood? No, we need palm wood. Palm wood and maybe some rocky stuff. Does that make sense? And maybe brick? Question mark? Alright. Time for the fun chat. We we be clicking. Like earn the trust of the wild animals. Yeah, like if you maybe like dropped like bugs in front of the the frillies and they would eat them and we could befriend the fillies. Drop like you know kale or something in front of, or I guess you would have to put termite stuff in front of the the kinda. Kwandongs for the moo. What would you put gators? I guess the gator would just want meat. And doggos would want meat. And roo and what would the roos eat? I guess any type of vegetable. I guess they would have to have some sort of favorite vegetable. What do you think a roo's favorite vegetable would be? Corn? Tomatoes, potatoes. The two layer tall wall. Remember the alpha trap? Yeah. I guess that could be a way of um, getting the alphas into an area too. They seem to not aggro against other animals unless the animals fight them, though. At least in the experimental build, I'm not sure if that's normal. They're all nice if they have saddles on, even without the mods, but you gotta get the saddle on them. I did get one saddle on without the mod, that was fun. Yeah, it's pretty interesting how you can just like grab a saddle, run up to a wary moo, and like all of a sudden they love you. Like, I don't know if that quite makes sense. <laughs> Personally, if I was a wild animal, and you came up to me and just threw a saddle on me, I would still be pretty annoyed with you, if not more annoyed. But the wary mood, they're like, ooh, thank you for capturing me. Please jump on my back. I feel like the regular moo are sort of like the... Um, like the domesticated version. Like if, uh, not that this is true, but like if buffalo are like the wild version of cow. Like if you threw a saddle on a buffalo, it would just get angry. But if you threw like a saddle on a cow, it would just be like, eh, I'm too stupid to care. Cause we've domesticated cows to the point where they're like pretty dumb. Though that's not necessarily an equivalent creature. But I don't think there is a such thing as like a wired, wild bull anymore. Maybe it, there is somewhere, but I don't know. They will eat Kwandongs if they have a saddle on. Will they not eat them if they're not saddled? That's disappointing. I dug a small pit and threw a caged wary moo in there. Mistake I made was the pit was so small that I had difficulty escaping the attacks. Ooh, luckily I got the saddle on. That's an interesting way of doing it. Yeah, 
You think the Moo are like Emu? Yeah, I believe so. What's the... Is there another type of creature? I feel like there's another giant bird that I can't think of. Like, there's Emu. Is there any other type? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we need uh, another couple tin fences. Ostrich, that's, there you go. That's what I was thinking. Um, maybe we have some palm arches too for some decoration. Torches, yeah. Maybe palm wood boats. Let's create some of these too. Should probably make some wooden torches. Uh, one of my my friends works with uh, her godparents had a um. They worked with the like, animal rescue. And, um, they got a baby ostrich at one point. Do you know those things are really smart? They have like a. Only one iron. Like a two year old's intelligence. You know what, I should probably make two more of these, one for each of the areas. And... We have a couple of pergolas for the animals to hang out underneath. And a bus stop. Maybe two bus stops. All right, I got an inventory full of junk now. Um, we should also make some brick path in case I feel like I want to use some of that. Oh, uh, we also want to build... Eh, we'll leave that for later. That's more decorating that I haven't fully thought of. Good morning, Melanie. Welcome to the stream. Look, just looked. Others, the Great Ray and Lesser Ray. Oh, I've never heard of that bird. Is that sort of like, um, like a, a water bird? One of the ones with like the long legs that like hangs out and feeds on fish? Happy time zone, Melanie. Hope everything's going well with you. Oh, it's Sunday. We should do stuff. Crud. All right. I totally forgot about stuff and things, so. Let's jump over here. Quickly ch check out. Looks like all of our areas worked out. Let's uh, shove all this jazz in here.
of course, there's not enough room for all the jazz. Um, crud. Let's go over here. Throw some more jazz in here. I'm gonna not need this stuff, but I can... The raised diet mainly consists of broad-leaved foliage, foliage, foliage words. I swear I can use words. Oh wait, I don't think I brought the keys over here. Oh geez, that was a cursed magpie. <clears throat> Particularly seeds and fruit when in season, but also insects, scorpions fish, small rodents, reptiles, and small birds. Favorite food plants include native and introduced species from all sorts of disot families. Words are hard. They are hard. Yeah, there's a few... Hey, you guys aren't next to each other anymore. There are a few types of, um, like, really large birds. Is it an egret? Something like that? Alright, let's hope we get our 100 keys. RNG, do not forsake us. Hundred and seven. All right, we're good. I missed one. Bunnies are cute. They are. Boop, 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 boop. We're saving these. You know what? I'm just going to keep these here. And this stuff we can throw in John's area. So much has changed. I've been trying to catch up by watching the VODs, but I never have enough time. The animal error is looking good. Thank you. Yeah, I've also been putting in a lot of time. Um, I think we're at like 50, 60 hours of like Dinkum playing this week, which is pretty nuts when you think about it. We've gotten a lot of content, uh, like a lot of progress done in our world. I've been putting in uh, a lot of time on stream, getting stuff done. Alright, I imagine I forgot something, but helicopter, keys. We have our shovel. We don't need our bow. We don't really need that. We might need a first aid kit in case we do something stupid. Um... We don't need our printer, question mark. Uh, we might need other stuff, but I think this is good enough for now. Nancy, use a punk. I'll get you one and a half hearts. I'm never going to get you anywhere. Let's go. Hey, Ataris. Welcome to the YouTube side of things. We have egrets around here and great blue heron. What is that other bird? Secretary bird or the big bird? Uh, pelican's another one. 
There's also... What's that other one? I feel like there's um, a cartoon movie that, I'm, that I should know about that has uh, these references. I haven't seen it since I was a wee little lad. Bunnies are cute is one of my escape phrases. No secretary birds here though. All right, chat, do you think I forgot something? I think I have everything. All right, how quick will we find L shark statue. There's a doodad. Those are flowers. There you are, shark statue. All right, not too bad. First half hour being here. We are starting this game a little bit uh, late, but we'll see how this goes. When are you starting at the new job? Monday. The first week is like orientation, so we'll see how much of like actual work I do and how much I'm just like sort of standing around, reading paperwork, filling out forms, doing online stuff. Yeah, the helicopter really helps with finding the shark statue. I find that um, it's usually like within this sort of circle. So usually I find it before I even make a full circle of that distance. I did sort of find it amusing though, because like I'm supposed to work from like seven to three or something. And um, when I was reading the paperwork that they gave me, they were like, your orientation starts at 2 Eastern time and will last 90 minutes. And I'm like, okay, I guess that means I'll be there till 3.30, even though I'm only on the schedule 2, 3. Hopefully it's one of those things where the videos actually don't take 90 minutes, but a lot of those orientation videos are like, if they say it's going to take 90 minutes, that's that's a 90 minute video you're sitting and watching. So hopefully I can either start it earlier or something. <laughs> Welcome to the, the YouTube side. I'm your TARDIS. Getting your chores done and uh, watching the stream. Alrighty. Let us find some some loot. There you are. Don't need that, don't need that. I don't need copper. I do need some iron. Um, let's just do that for now. Oops. All right, this one can get deleted. Oh, got an X mark. Makes it easier to find. Iron, iron, paint. And don't need anything else. 
anything on this island I care about. Nope. Through the helicopter. And also, don't forget to pick up the shark statue. Alright, and... Let's hit up. Let's go south and then go around. Best of skills to you at your new job. Yeah... I'm a little nervous about it all just because it's, you know, it's not one of those jobs that you can just sort of mess around with. Like, I gotta be pretty on point with stuff. But, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be super difficult, to be honest. Why would, I don't need a stone wand. Like, my last job actually required, like, uh... A lot of learning, you know? Like, there'd be a new application that I had to do, and, like, I had to learn, like, and think relative to the chemicals that I'm working with, like, would methanol work better here? Would acetonitrile work better here? I would have to like critically think on like what my results looked like and how I had to like improve or like how the results affect the work that I did. And then sometimes I would have to just like think and be like, hmm, can I think outside of the box? Maybe using water and adding a little bit of uh like acid or base modifier will help this thing that I'm doing. While at this job, it's just going to be like, yo, did you do the test? Yo, how's the the pump doing? Was it making bad sounds? So I imagine it won't... Yay, Berconium, finally. It won't be, like, mentally hard. But it'll probably be taxing on, like, um... On, like, more physical, like... Get this stuff done, get this stuff done. Keep working, do stuff. Yeah, my old job required a lot of critical thinking. I was really good at my job because I, um... I knew just enough about a lot of different sciences and a lot of like that it was able to was able to sort of think outside of the box about things like is um you know is this a, a viscosity problem is this a a chemical process is this a physical thing what type of property do I want to work with? Do you think it's like a polarity thing? Uh, an acid uh, base type thing? It's just organic versus fluorinated chemical thing? So there's a lot of like chemistry that I had to learn. But this job is not going to be as much like actually learning chemistry as much as it's going to be like learning what you do on the job. I think it's going to have higher physical demands. Like, not like... Um, like, I have to pick stuff up and put it down and, and do, like, heavy lifting or anything. But I think it's going to be more of, like, here's the list of things that you have to get done in your eight-hour shift... And don't forget that every, you know, hour and a half, you have to take a sample and, and check on the water. So it's going to be more of like a, a physical, like, how do you plan what you have to do, drive where you need to get to drive. Um, 
so it's like more physically like demanding in that way not like pick up this giant stack of metal and move it around type of demanding but I also have no idea you know I'm not sure if one day I'll be doing just testing on water and then sit around for 45 minutes until the next test of water that I have to do or if it's going to be like every five hours you have to test the water and during the, the in-between time here's this list of uh, places around the state that you have to go check on and verify that everything is still good and working and because it's one of those like utility service things a lot of stuff is probably in like a semi dilapidated state So, a lot of brick buildings that have never been cleaned type of thing. So we'll see what problems and things I'm going to have to deal with due to that. Ooh, I like battle shovels. Yes, please. Can the bottle of clouds be used to inspire Jimmy to show up? I believe so. If I remember correctly, the bottle of clouds works on the next day? I don't know if it works the day that you use it. I haven't used it in a while, so I wouldn't go off of my knowledge of it. But I'm pretty sure when you use it, it makes the next day rainy. Like, the whole day rainy. But it's been a few, like, real-life weeks since I've uh, used it, so I don't really remember. Oh, Aquamarine near me. Oops. At least you got good eyes. I didn't see that at all. I wasn't really looking for it, though. Yeah, I like having the X's. They are nice. They're easier to find. I think... I used to think that the X's were normally... Um, especially when they're on the ground, like the, the lower tier loot. But seems like I was just wrong about that. Let's go to the farther one. Bottle of Clouds will summon Jimmy. Okay, that's what I thought. Thanks for the... the clear, for the... Uh... Confirmation, that's the word. Melanie. Yeah, I was pretty sure it didn't work. Like, like this bottle of sunshine only works on the moment that you're raining. Hey, stop running away. So, like, if it's raining tomorrow, you can't clear up the rain tomorrow by using the bottle of uh, sunshine. Or the cup of sunshine. And with the cloud thing, it pulls the clouds to the next day. Alright, let's go up here first. It was right near the X. Oh man. My blindness didn't even see it. It happens though. Two pirate gliders in one chest. I haven't seen that before. There's some uh, interesting loot that you can get here. I would really prefer more Braconium, though. Well, we're up to five. And that's pretty... Uh, 
not too great to be honest. Like three sprinklers. Can I? Can I please, pretty please, get some more braconium? Mm. Pretty please, game. Thanks for the bottle of cloud info. Does it have to be activated on late night to summon Jimmy the next morning, or is it early the next morning? I think it can be any time. So morning, afternoon, late night, I don't think it matters. If I remember how it summons it, it just says, like, the clouds have been summoned, and, uh... And nothing sort of happens, but if you look at the weather thing, the weather thing changes the next day to an entirely um, wet day, a rainy day. I don't think it summons like um, thunder clouds either. I think it's only only a normal rain. If that makes sense. You hunt it, hunt aquamarines every time to try to pay off the trip. It's a good, good idea. That's one aspect of my world is that's a little cheesy. I've always thought I had like an unlimited money. Are these like right next to each other? No. Pretty close though. Two blocks next to each other. Come on, Braconium. Yeah, I'll take a Ruby Shard though. Some green paint. Yeah, that's like probably some of the closest I've seen. You know, I might want to collect some summer lily seeds. You can never use them. You can never use uh, less of them. Could always use more. Come on, Heli. There you go. Oop. I thought that was farther away. of the island not another ruby shard chuck it rolls eyes kidding yeah i could always use more ruby shards seven braconium we've gotten as many sprinklers as we've gotten braconium that's pretty weird that's a, a very odd situation Usually I do not get that many. Sprinklers. Those sprinklers might be handy to upgrade with the more farming. Very true. Sprinklers are expensive. I've been fairly lucky that um, because I don't do much farming and I do a lot of Braconium like searching, I've gotten most of my, yes, 
We got one more blast furnace from this. Let's go. <sighs> Take a moment to stretch from excitement. As long as we get 10 per trip, I think I'm happy. And this next one is there. I read on the Discord this morning that somebody mentioned that you can just get rid of the trees and then it'll make it so that uh, you can search for the chests that way. So we might try that. Ooh, two more Braconium. So if I remember correctly, like this doesn't seem to pick up any. But I think if you get rid of the blue, or if you get rid of the trees, it'll... Able to find them more. Let's try it. We got time to experiment. I have a ton of aquamarine from uh, when I'm your TARDIS visited. We got like 20, 30 of them, so I don't really need more aquamarine to decorate. And I have, I think. Like 50 or 100 aquamarine shards. So I can make a ton of the blue um, doodads. Lights. Let us run around and see if we can detect anything. See if I'm... I'm able to find anything. I feel like it's usually around the edge of the island, but... We'll see. It's usually like a like a three by three area so I don't have to look at every single inch of the island I will be using a ton of electricity though might be one of the first times I uh, run out of uh, charge on the metal detector there's usually another one on the island so we should find another one if that whole concept of just removing the trees works. Doesn't look like there's any on the exterior. So let's uh, try searching the inside. Pretty sure they won't be underneath any plants. I'm just sort of searching for Hmm. Not looking too promising so far though. Could have sworn we had to remove all of the plants in order to find stuff, but 
It might be a little crazy. And there might just only be one on the island. You never know. I tried a solo deep mine yesterday. As soon as I walked out, two glow crocs were right there and snapped at me. Oh. You can sometimes have really bad starts. I ran around to the back of the elevator and a third was there. Oh no. I've never been able to metal detect chests without the X on the map. Maybe just my bad luck. Welcome back here, I'm your TARDIS. Back to the, the Twitch side of things. Alright. There is nothing over here. Is that the sound of... It is the sound of my glider. Maybe not. What? Confusion. It's like sometimes when I open up the glider, it causes like a lag in my game. Which makes like a weird sound in the, in the game. I don't know, I don't get it. I'm not good at treasure hunting. Yeah, me neither. I'm still practicing. I'm listening while cleaning cat boxes. Ugh. Just called in to give you a like. Can't stay in. I have, uh, I have Gison. Gotcha. Thanks for stopping by, Nancy, and thanks for the like. I appreciate it. Um, check that island. No, let's, uh... Mark the islands that we've checked. Good luck with uh, your G-Sun, Nancy. Hopefully you guys have a good time. Alright, nothing here. The cats will love you for that. Yeah... Otherwise, they'll just start bugging you. Like, hey, hey, hey. That's what Crummy does to me. If I don't, like, clean his box and he's just, like, it's too dirty, he'll just come up and slap pawing at me. Like, hey, I need you to do stuff. I don't know what you're doing right now, but you see, my litter box needs attention. He's usually pretty relaxed, though. Is more of the like, I need food. Yeah, like that sound. Weird. I think that's the sound that I'm hearing though, is when I'm like opening up my, uh. Huh. Like it didn't happen that time. Chat, I'm losing it. Be right back. Dishes. Two cats. The disabled one pees a lot. Bad kidneys. Aww. My mom had a cat that had bad kidneys. Another sound. Poor little bugger had to be on, like, all types of medication. I'm not sure if I have bad luck with finding these things, or if, like, the experimental has changed how these works. I don't know, man. Maybe James actually made it so that there's only the, the chests that you find, and you can't metal detect them anymore. I don't know. I know in the current regular version of the game you can still find them. Uh, 
half beep trade. Yeah. You clean the litter boxes, I do dishes. Not a bad trade there. I wonder if I have to get rid of um, the stone for it to work. I'm pretty sure I'm just, you know, grasping at straws. But let's try it, just in case it does have any effect. Wouldn't make any sense that it has an effect, but... Sense in video games is all relative. Alright, nope. Had no effect. One person in the Dis Dinkum Discord also mentioned that that they focus on bigger islands. So maybe it's like a, a big island thing? Question mark. Like there's a better chance of finding something on a big island than a small island. They also said they had to get rid of trees though. Take some rocks. Don't need any of this stuff though. <laughs> For two litter boxes? No, thank you. We have two litter boxes for one cat. He likes to use one for number one and one for number two. When we had two cats, though, we had to have multiple. It's like they didn't enjoy sharing goofy, goofy kitties. Well, this one had a... Um, a chest on it, so maybe it doesn't have a second one. Um, all right, let's try this guy. just losing it like maybe like not losing it but maybe I'm just like super unlucky with this I don't think I've seen any official responses from James or anybody in the Dinkum like mod team moderator team if this is a legitimate thing to find stuff, or if this is like a something that James is going to remove. Hmm.
Hmm, pineapple. No seed drop lane. Alright, is that all of the trees? Nope, we got one more tree. Let's see. This is a huge island, right? Maybe. Of course, there's still trees. Ooh, pineapple. No seed drop. No seed drop. Starting to lean towards this method has been fixed per se. Like it was an unintended thing that I don't think James wanted. Either that, or there's some fancy way of doing this that I'm, I'm still missing. This is getting a little boring though to do. We got our 10 Verconium, so at least we got that going for us. I couldn't imagine doing this for a whole day. That... Well, I guess if, it, if you didn't have the Silver Pocket Watch, it wouldn't be as long of a day. But with the Silver Pocket Watch, man, this gets boring quick. Alright, I think that's all of the the sand area checked. So let's check our dirt areas. What's your problem, doggo? You're all wrapped up in a cute little blanket. 
a little puppy package. She's like, I haven't had eyeballs on me for like an hour. I'm upset. Such a needy puppy. Yeah, like this giant island didn't have anything. That is some, some beach street sauce. I almost don't believe it. <sighs> Maybe we try getting rid of all of the plants and see if that has any effect. Alright, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want this. We don't want this. Pockets full, do 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 do. All the pockets, all of them are full. You know, I never realized we got a lot of pockets if every pocket holds one item. Animal story time. Oh boy. In my college days, I had a runt gray cockatiel that was my buddy. Aww. Those guys can be pretty cute. I've seen a few uh, TikToks for birds like, you like pretty bird and the thing just like dance, dances around. Every day he used to walk out of his cage and stare down at the carpet at this one spot, then whistle interested. I said, every day you see the same thing. He would tilt his head at me, then look back at the carpet and encourage me to look. Eventually I humored it and looked too. He got super happy and whistled. So that became our daily thing. It's like he's happy, he's like, I can manipulate you to look at something. Birds are pretty interesting like that. They like having like the same, not like repetitive, but they like doing a similar thing all the time. I said, how do you look at the same thing every day as if it's new? Don't you get bored? He just looked at me and encouraged me to look at with him. I changed my mindset to where no matter how many times I saw or heard something to see as there was something new to to see about it that helped me stop my boredom to train i i took it further and sat in front of a blank white wall for hours daily i no longer experienced boredom yeah boredom is a mindset i can see that i just i don't know i have lots of projects to do in this game so doing the same thing all the time gets like it feels like I'm wasting time. So, it's definitely maybe not boredom I'm feeling as much as like... Like, uh, a feeling of I'm, I'm not using my time wisely. I'm not sure if there's a complicated word for that that would describe it. I guess it's a form of anxiety a bit, I don't know. I have a tough time not doing stuff though, like, especially with the, the, like a cell phone nowadays, like, there's always something I could be doing or learning. I have no idea about words really, I have a small vocabulary. Yeah, it's one of those things where... Getting a large vocabulary is not a simple task. And then like actually like actually using said vocabulary is also can be an issue. You know, it's one of those things if you don't What the heck? Alright chat, now I'm confused. 
Not only was there... There was an X marks there, too. So, like, what? Did that show up? Look, and now there's another one? Alright. I still think you have to get rid of... All the stuff. Because that's the... I think that sort of confirms, for me at least, that I need to get rid of all of the the plants for me to be able to find stuff. Look at that. Another one. That's one right next to another one. Oh boy, what just happened? Seconds hat. Oh, bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. What buses? Bus, bus. There's no more buses. I guess that's a bus. Oh, that was frustrating. I just lost whatever anybody was saying in chat because Restream just decided to un unlog me in. What a piece of junk. Let's see. Maybe if I pull up Twitch chat. There we go. You found a non-X treasure? Yeah, I found three of them all next to each other. Does that mean there are more hidden X's near the airship if you clear everything out? Probably. And if that is the case, are maps even necessary? Oof, on Twitch or YouTube. Um... Restream. I it combines the two chats, so I totally lost whatever YouTube said. I would have to let's go to YouTube and see if I can pull up the chat because I need to get a um I wonder if I pause it. I really only want the chat. Okay. Inefficient? Yeah, I think that's actually the word. Um, Melanie. I feel inefficient. And I, it's not like a... Like I need to do something about it. But I definitely think... I need to remove all of the plants for this metal detecting to work. Still can't believe there was three of them so close to each other. You are the only person I've met that understands boredom in his, a mindset. Yeah, I mean, you can keep yourself occupied by thinking about stuff, you know? And there's like, since you have a cell phone, like, there's so much stuff you can do, you can learn about, like... Boredom is something that, like, is your own fault. It's not, um... Look, another X. This is nuts. This is four on one island. And none of these I found with the treasure map. If I keep, like... I'm very confused now. Do they spawn? Or is this, like, how many were here? And, is, and I guess it doesn't necessarily matter about the stuff. Because this area was connected. Huh. 
Riddle me that, Batman. Riddle me that. I don't think I understand what's required for these things to show up. It seems that it has some relationship to getting rid of the plants. Because we totally went over that area and we did not see anything. And we found four once we removed everything. Which is pretty nuts. Eleven thirty, so I gotta be quick with this. Another one. I am so confuzzled. So I am like positive we searched that area. What? Oh. That makes more sense. I buried a, uh, a log. What a crazy situation. I'm still stunned about that. So we don't have time to do it, but if we cleared this out, I think there's a good chance we'd find more chests. Maybe if we just clear out like an area. Do have a first aid kit, so let's. Ah, uh, this ain't worth it. How much does this heal? Treats wounds instantly. And you can't even use it inside. Interesting. I used to talk all proper with big words and all of that because my parents were in real estate and we were on the job with my mom. Boy, if you said one word wrong, it was like a bathhouse for you. It was the bathhouse for you, LOL. No, it wasn't that bad. That's an interesting phrase. A few years ago, I figured out that people really don't care, so I relax and talk fun. Yeah, for the most part, people don't care. It's only a certain, like, smaller communities that people really care about that stuff and I find that a lot of those types of communities aren't necessarily fun to be with you know you they end up being very judgy people and like I don't know I don't I don't have a good time with that type of situation In my school years, big words confused me, and peers used to mock me, saying I wasn't smart enough to understand those words. They were partially right, but it pushed me further from big words. Same in my college years, too. That stuck with me throughout life. I'm happier with small words for me. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, explain it like I'm five. Like, if you, if you want to be more relatable to people... You want to be able to explain it like they're younger. Now, at the same point, the contradicting this same point, um, like a t contradictory point, um, 
sometimes bigger words can describe what you're saying more efficiently. You know, I could say versus or I could say contradictory. Um, but like, I feel like a contradictory point adds that like, it's the opposite of instead of versus is like unless you're fighting something. So it, it all depends, you know. I do enjoy learning bigger words, just like if I feel like I'm not describing myself as well. Two tin bars. Sure, I can do that. All right, let's uh, throw our keys in here. Throw the extra helicopter. Um, maybe we throw a cup of sunshine in there just in case. Like if it starts raining in the air and when we're at the tropical island, that's that's sort of lame. So metal detector can come in here, and then we can grab this, 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 this. And everything else can stay in here for now. Kids are mean. Yeah, I agree, man. Especially like, what was that? Have you ever seen that show, Kids Say the Darndest Things? Like sometimes it's like, they're just like sh saying an observation that makes sense. And then sometimes they're just like, you have ugly hair. And you're like, damn, dude, like you're five years old. And that hurt me right in like the feels. I am not sure what's going on with sounds. I'm not sure if that's my computer doing that or if the game itself has weird sounds. But it seems like when I open up my glider, sometimes I get really weird sounds. I have enough summer lily seeds for most of things. Same with a, a cha-cha, acacia trees. Ooh, we can get two Berconium. We can get two Blast Furnaces. Let's go. Pipe, 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 pipe. Oh, wow. We're almost at, what, 50 of most of these? Not bad. Um... 20 of those, not bad as well. And our statues. And then fruit. And I guess I can drop off my alpha dude. Because I got a battle shovel now. Um, I think I'm keeping... No. Or was I keeping that stuff? I think it, it was back here, wasn't it? And... Alright, I'm losing it, chat. I forgot where I put stuff. There it is, in this chest. Okay. For me, the word contradictory isn't a big word because I think of contradict. Blast furnace. There is no emote for that, but there, I thought it'd be funny just to write it. All right, path, B house. All right, so we got one of these. One of these. I think I'm going to take the paths out because I think it's pretty obvious that you get paths. But the B houses and stuff are useful to know. Get ores. I think that's pretty obvious that you get ores. Maybe we take the ores out. I guess we'll leave the poo for now. Just keeping track of what we get from these Gamba machines. 
And it looks like only the first day their animations work. Looks like their animations glitch out the second day. Add paths. Go away. Looks like when I was running around, I messed up that one. Uh, I bet you I left these paths at, um, what's it called? Where do I put fertilizer over here? I'm dyslex dyslexic, so I got T's as well. Yeah. I feel like everybody is a little dyslexic too, so that's like really dumb. Like everybody's on like a sliding scale of how much dyslexia they have. I always find that stupid when people make fun of that type of stuff. Um... You know, it's sort of a bummer. It's about 11 and I have to end stream at like 1130. So I might not be able to do another day. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that I'm retarded. That does sucks. Yeah, it made you stronger. We had a phrase at my old job. Uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The gotcha machine. I wonder if it can drop mushroom path too. Yeah. I got mushroom path from it. I think we just got mushroom pack. Um, you know what, because of that, let's go do some late night stuff, it's like placement, because we can place path and stuff. Are you guys gonna, you should be, you should go to bed, bud. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be sleeping out here. I don't have more than 25 of these guys, do I? Animals, bombats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Carly is the last of seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Counting with Bob. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I only have seventeen. I should have twenty-five of these things down. Stop being dumb. Go lay down in your spot. Maybe I need to pick up the empty ones. And they'll, uh, like... Refigure out which one is which. That makes sense. Uh, we also wanted to do pathing stuff. Path, 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 path. Fence, stuffy stuffs, stuff, stuff, stuffs. All right, you know what? Nobody gets any houses. Give me all your houses. <laughs> you guys bug me, so nobody gets a house for now. Whoa, dude. Oh, uh, you... Were they, uh, not 14? No, they've always been 14 gauge, right? Yeah, but getting the, like... Them out, and then out, put... And then getting a new ball into the new one? Yeah. We've been working on that for, like, three months, and... Like, all my earrings switched out. And I'm done! Congratulations. You're testing on the reef island. That makes me think that even on rainy days can work on the island reef. A funny at the island reef. There was a loud thunder by me, and I think a thunder egg dropped there, but I couldn't find it. Just left in the water. You have done so much work. It looks awesome. Thank you. I'm uh, figuring out what I'm wanting to do. We can't do any more terraforming because I only have like a half an hour left to stream. But we can at least path some stuff up and figure out what we're doing. 
if we're doing 12 or 11 or 12 or 2. Well, uh, you might want to message him in the next little bit. I mean, yeah, trying to give him space considering, but at the same point, it's like, hey, bud, we need to figure this out. Uh, it's going to be a, a fun time soon. We have to go pick up the fish tank from the, the family member that passed away recently. So we'll see how much work they've gotten done in that apartment, whether it's fully cleaned up or what. I imagine they have to be out of that place very soon. You know, it's a new month. And I'm sure the apartment people are being lenient, but, ugh, you know, cleaning up stuff like that is never fun. It's actually, like, probably the least fun thing I've ever, one of I've ever done, and I've had to do it a few times. Yeah. And, like, even with people that, like, say, like, your grandparents moving to a retirement home, like, it's almost like the same effect without the sadness. You know, like, going through all of their stuff, and, ugh, it's no fun. It's been a pretty rough six months of my life, all things considered. But, what did we say earlier? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger? I be getting strong, chat. Hmm, this is a little goofy, but I accept this, this one Y path. All right. And this is where one of the fences we want it. I take care of my parents and live with them so I can be right there. They both want to not be in a retirement home, but pass in our house. Yeah. And it's sort of like, like it's a realistic thing to think about, but also it's one of those like sort of depressing things to think about. But, like, we're all going to have to deal with that type of stuff eventually, so it's better to think about it than to to not, but I don't know. It's one of those things that when you're younger, you don't really think much of. Then once you get older, you're like, ew, gross, I have to think about this all the time. Why don't I have more cement? I feel like I should have had more cement in my pocket. Yeah, I try to do what I can to reduce as much stress from for them as I can. Yeah. Life's stressful, man. On like a good day, it's super stressful. But on a bad day, man, holy moly is it stressful. Alright, let's... Oh. We can at least stare this area up. Did I leave? Haha, -ha, I did. Like my mom says, when times are tough, go sit on the toilet and think. Oh, wise words from the mom. Ah. You know, I think 
we want to change up this. Maybe we have the Moo. Entrance here. Maybe... Dad says, if you toot, blame it on mom. <laughs> we blame the dog whenever that happens. But then again, we also find it sort of amusing when uh, it happens to either of us. So, uh... What's the phrase we usually call it? Did you uh, poop your pants? You have an oopsie. Um, let's do a hardwood and then just do cements here. Like the path ends at these at these houses. And maybe we maybe these guys get cement around their buildings. Why not? I don't think, um, oh, I, I never put back the, uh, the 25 for the, the Vombats. I jokingly blame it on AI sometimes. I see how the AI will try to talk its way out of it. It's all series fault. Eh. Eh. Boop and a boop and a boop a doop a doo. Just texted my dad. He said he's gonna call me around too. Okie dokie. Well, that's a thing. Um, maybe we do brick. You know what? It doesn't actually make sense. Because aren't these like... It's a redwood. Um, no, let's do brick here. I think brick makes sense. Because it's going to be like surrounded by concrete. Well, chat, I think I can, uh, stream a little bit longer. <laughs> I like how they just, like, whoop, to the other side. This guy was just like, I'm just gonna chill here. It's cool. Can't tell me to move. Alrighty, I think that's good enough for this area. Um, these guys need all types of TLC. Ooh, look at this! We have enough opals, I don't really need to pick this up. So maybe we just leave this here. 
But um, I think we're going to cut this mountain back a little bit and maybe pull a path like around the mountain. And maybe we put these guys in this little nook. Oh, wait, no, we also want to do water. So maybe this is a big old river that goes through. And we'll have to change up this side. I don't know. I'm not quite sure about that. So maybe we, we ignore the pleeps. By the way, do AI topics bother you? I know it bothers a lot of people. No. Artificial intelligence is A, not intelligent, and very not artificial in a way. I think large language model or um, what was the other one? Machine learning are better descriptions of it. Alright, do we want to do brick in here? Yeah, maybe we do brick underneath them. And do rocks around them. Sort of like the... The brick is the foundation, and the rock is due to the animal wandering around through it. I knew aspects of them are learning agents and intelligence agents, but I don't know if those terms are used. It's all complicated math and weights. There's no actual intelligence there at all, so a lot of the, the artificial aspect is a joke, in my opinion. Like, there's... It's, it's really not what people think it is in general. It's mostly just a bunch of, um, like, how to think of it this way. Like, when you're making a sentence in English, like, you start off with a, a subject, and then you do a verb, and then you do, like, you know, like, the dog ran fast. You know, like, whatever the ending aspect of it is. So it's sort of, it's less of, um an intelligence for a lot of this stuff and it's more of, of like a weighted average of what's the chance of you saying dog as a subject and what's the chance of you um like the statistical average of you using a name and when you look at billions and billions of words like there's only so many words so if you can literally look at the entirety of every word in a dictionary and then look at thousands and thousands of books you get a percentage chance that each of those words show up so is that intelligence as all or is it just like really complicated statistics like a really really big statistical map and that's that's sort of my my problem with the artificial intelligence is that you're giving it far more credit than it actually deserves, in my opinion. It's not intelligent at all. It's just like a, a complicated statistics problem. So, and it's not that I have a problem with it. It's just I feel that it's very disingenuine calling it artificial intelligence. Like, or like general intelligence, like the... The thing that people are saying, like, is, is in the future. Like, we are so flipping far away from that. We just started learning how to make neural network algorithms for computers. And, like, even if we took the most complicated, um, um, like, two nanometer process that Intel or TSMC does for CPU chips, like, we can't even mimic... Um, like,
like one square centimeter of the human brain. So we have so far to go before we're at the point where we're mimicking brain processes and actually getting something that would be considered intelligent, you know? I used to ask people, if humans do not really understand how we learn, how can we program it exactly? A lot of, like... A lot of the research is going into how do we program it. Like, we have all of these um, training models and stuff. Like, how do we get this training model to output the, the information we want it to output? Alright, I ran out of bricks, chat. I'm a little disappointed with myself. Um, wait, no, because this is going to be one. Yeah, this will be two. So three, one, two, three. Hey, crummy boy. Some of the most interesting things I've seen is some of the neural uh, processing stuff, like neural network that they've been trying to work on. But I don't know how close any of that is to actually, like, the human brain. Last time I, I heard or read anything about that type of stuff, um, it was along the lines that, like, the human brain, like, one square centimeter of, like, neurons and everything is, like, equivalent in memory capacity as every single hard drive combined on the planet. Now, I'm not sure how accurate that stuff is. Maybe we've, you know, paradigm shift has happened and we can actually mimic more than one square centimeter. But, like, we're so far away from the complexity of the human brain. We would have to li almost literally have... Um, individual atom lithography like like not atoms but molecule lithography where you're literally building stuff one molecule at a time and even if we had that type of stuff like i don't know if we would still be able to actually like recreate a brain it's one of those things like we might need like timey-wimey tardis stuff where like we compress space and time into an area and have like this giant you know um, piece of electronic squished into a, a smaller space in order to mimic the brain. Because, like, we're talking like a... It's a chemical process that, that our brain does. And, like, every single little neuron has more than just one functionality. And as a, like, as a network, they end up creating the consciousness. It's not just, like one neuron holds, you know, the color blue. It's the combination of 30 neurons that might hold the color blue. But another 30 adjacent neurons might help with learning what red is. So it's, it's and that's our very simple understanding of what our current brain does. We really have no damn clue. I've held on to this crazy thought about things. Remember the my experiences of bees I told you about, yeah. The whole, like, like, almost like they figured out that you're, like, a nice person. They know that you're the one that'll uh, help them. Oh, what is... Marlene, get out of the way. 
I don't know what you're doing, but you're like, you're bugging out this area. There we go. Yeah, you're still bugging out the area. Get out of here, Marlene. You're a bad Marlene. Look, I can't place anything. What is going on here? Marlene, you suck. Making it so I can't place stuff. Example, I think like the bees, for example, put an electrical frequency that bonded to me somehow that only bees can sense. Yeah, I, I honestly think there's a lot to existence that we don't understand. You know, there might be a whole sub frequency of existence that we don't understand. You know, some people call it like aura or, you know, the soul. Can you move, you piece of junk? I really want to put something here. Maybe if I, like... Get out of here, Marlene. This Vombat's bugging me. I'm not sure if you can tell, chat. Get. There we go. That way they know what is good or bad. Yeah, I see it scientifically. Like bond it to your EMF electrical field. Yeah. There's there's a lot of science that we don't fully comprehend. You know? Like electromagnetism and... Like el electricity and magnets are like the same... Um the same thing what is why can't i place this what did marlene what are you doing to this whole area you've like glitched out this whole spot i don't get it oh my gosh chat this game Tweaking my buttons. Like, you know, there are some people that have a special animal just that a special species of animals just go to, go to. Maybe that person was born with that frequency that this species can sense, but other animals can't or other humans can't sense. 
I'm probably wrong, though. Eh, I don't think it's as simple as either of us understand, but it could totally be possible. I feel like there's, um... There's, like, a an aura to people, or, like, a... Like, animals can sense the good and bad in people. It's not necessarily, like, a... A thing that they do... Um, consciously. It's just like an innate thing. Like I feel like there's just like people that... That have that aura that the animal knows, I won't do harm to you. Maybe it's like a, a reflection in the eye, maybe it's an electromagnetic sim symbol, sig signal. Um... You know, maybe all of that just is just irrelevant to it. Maybe it's just a a chance interaction. Who knows? You know, you put yourself next to enough bees, you're gonna run into a bee that that trusts you, or a bee that you know doesn't really care if you squish it. You know, because it's already at that point in its world where it's just like, yeah, whatever. I already got kicked out of the hive. One crumb crumb. He's like, I needed to get snacks. A lot of the time, humans were, um, what do you call it? We're pattern creatures. So we search for patterns, even though there might not be any. Come on, crummy. We try to find, you know, the patterns in the chaos. And sometimes it's just chaos. There's a point in, um... Um... What's it called? In Orville where they ask a robot like um how does it feel about existing and it's like why would i feel anything about existing you know the universe started from a a happenstance chance of some i don't know what was the thing they called it like a, a gravitational well bubble popping paradigm you know some science jargon and um he's like i find comfort in the fact that chaos can produce such the brilliance that is our existence the the statistical chance of it happening is infinitesimal but it did happen and i find that comforting that you know something can come from nothing and like the, the human in, in Orville was just like, I feel, um, what do you say, like, that is uncomforting for him. Like, he was more of, like, the, the religious side of it, where he's just like, I feel like there should be a purpose in, of existence. And it's, it's, you know, sometimes it's just not in the cards. Sometimes there's a purpose, and sometimes there's not. I don't know if we'll ever find that out as a, a species. If there was an actual reason for the, the universe to come to be. Was it by a, a divine, you know, intervention? <clears throat> or was it just... Just pure chaos? Yeah, I think the, the Vombat's in the way. Either that, or the game just hates me. But I really, like, honestly... A part of me wants to sell Marlene. <laughs> just... Pop this one out of existence. Get. 
Get out of here. Like you're not sleeping, you're not, like you're just in the flipping way. It bugs me. Um, that's actually a good point. That means... This guy shouldn't exist. Because that one needs to go there, doesn't he? Yep, patterns, rhythm, and chaos. Do we need to know a reason? I mean, some people do. I'm at work and I want to sleep. Oh, well, Todd. Sleep is for the weak. <laughs> a joke. Sleep is nice, though. I think that's probably all we're going to do. Um... Let's try one last time and see if Marlene is still in the flipping way. Seems like she is. Can I place like something like this in here? Yeah, I can. Huey, stop licking your paws, do doggo. Yay, chat. I don't know what I did differently, but we did it. We'll see. Go to the whistle. No, the whistle doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, I lied. I guess we fixed whatever was bugged with Marlene. I don't know. If you find her home, pick it up and put it back down. She will go to it. Why did you pick up the number 25? Why did you pick the number 25 or how many animals? I have no idea. Let's try that. Pick up all the ones that are currently on... Empty. Will Marlene go to a spot? Can I place these? Is it this one that's Marlene's and that's why she's having a problem? Dude, I don't know what's wrong with this wombat. It is upset with life. I do like how this area is shaping out to be though. Looks nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing one of the babies took it or something. I'm sure sleeping will fix it. Um, did we... I think the only thing we have left to figure out is the animal food stuff. This makes more sense. Like,
think I've placed too many down, didn't I? That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So yeah, three too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so they're good. And we can get rid of that spot. And then, then we just need to put five more down. There we go. I think that's good. Let's go sleep. Uh, what time is it? It's 11.30. Um, everything got pushed back to 2. So I should be able to do another couple of days. And we've been streaming for 3 hours. So I think I'm going to go back to base. I should... Like, What's going on with this dude? He's sleeping out here. I think I need to rethink what I'm doing with these statues. I threw them down thinking that they were good, but I think they look a little goofy now. Didn't I leave one over here? Did I pick that one up too? Because I've picked up all of the houses at this point and placed them all back down. And there's still random bombats just like sleeping. I think their AI turns off at night or something goofy. Like, why are you still awake and yet if I whistle for this one, it doesn't respond. Like, there's something goofy going on there. And I bet you if... Yeah, their whistle doesn't even matter. Um... Marlene, come over here. I don't know why I picked 25. It's just like a, a nice number that pleases my brain. We have these two. Where can we place them? Maybe here. And here? Yeah, that works. Um, I think what we'll want to do with Tiki Torches... They don't render well, they just look like normal torches in my hand. I think we're going to want to put Tiki Torches around. Just to give some space, like, existing lighting. So we'll have to make more of them. Alright, 
I know I mentioned I was going to go take a break, but now I forgot I had all the other junk in my inventory. So I want to place some of this stuff before... So I have an idea of where to place some of it. Ew, gross. Did you see what that just did to the fences? Oh, that's terrible. That, like, bugs me on, like, a whole types of profound level. Gotta move that. Um, we're gonna want a windmill somewhere around here. And then we're probably gonna want one over here near the trucks as well. We can also do our stairs thing. Yeah, I definitely nudged her a bit, and I think that's what solved our problem. And we're going to want this. We can always find a way to play longer. True. Very true. Why do I have extra top fences in these things? I'm a little worried about that. All right, bus stop. I wanted to put one. Like over here. I think this is another example. Of we need more of these tin gates. I'm definitely going to have to move that somewhere. Like, I kind of feel bad for Marlene now. Like, she has insomnia and just wants to hang out. Insomnia is the worst. I agree. These are four wide, aren't they? Oof. Um, well, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. Maybe... This goes here. Uh, that was weird. Did you see how I just like lost my? That was weird. I don't even know how to explain that one. I lost my bar at the bottom, my quick bar. I used to have insomnia a lot when I was uh, in high school and college when I was younger, like in my 20s. I would just stay up for hours. I don't know how much that was insomnia or just like being young and dumb and being able to stay up forever. The world may never know. Can I place this on top of you? No. Okay. And I can't place this like... Nope. I think we want two over here. Maybe one over for... In the water. I don't know what to do with the rest of that, or that, or that. I know I don't want to do any of these guys. I'm pretty sure this fence is all good. I didn't mess up the fence, did I? No, I didn't. Alrighty. I think I have an idea of where to put this. I think I want to put the other palm wood pergola in the water for the the pleeps. But for now, you get to sit there. I have extra animal feeders. 
Maybe we pretend we care about these guys and they get fed stuff. And maybe we just leave these over here just in case I decide something different. And I think we're going to use those paths um, for something later over here. Alright, that's good enough. I do want to run back to base. I want to put a sign, you are now leaving city limits. 1.23 kilometers or something. That'd be pretty cool. I do need to put a bunch of signs around. That is one of those things that, like, the little, like, road signs. That's something I need to do. Alright, 20 Berconium, so that's two more Blast Furnaces. Hey, turkey. Clear out the inventory. Need to put uh, these guys over here. I think fences go in this one. Boop, boop. We have paths that need to go away. This path goes in here. Stairs go in stairs. Maybe we finish the stair area. Need shells to go away. Put our our cake, our pavlova down there. Put our statues away. Um. All right. That was a good Sunday fun day. We somehow spent three and a half hours on two days. So. Let's go, chat. Alright, we're going to call it a day, and then I'm going to take a, a quick break, because I have been sitting here for three and a half hours. When I was in my 20s, I would stay up for days at a time. Yeah, I did that a couple of times. Every, like, like once a quarter, maybe every couple of months, I would just not sleep for a day. A couple of my buddies would stay up for two or three days, but... I don't know if that was a natural occurrence or if that was a a uh, something that they had done. All right, I'm also going to quit the desktop and reload the game because this thing seems to be goofy when we we take too long. Oh boy. Hey, hey, it worked. I was a little worried that the game was just going to crash, but it worked. Right, hit play. If a tree is next to that entrance post or a pergola, will that hold up the branches of the tree falling down under the pergola entrance sign? I think so. Anything like a... a piece of furniture or something will uh, interact with the tree as it's falling when you cut it down. That is clever. I only had a thought of signs that said, like, this way to home since I get lost. Yeah, some sort of uh, chemically helped thing. But I don't know. For me, I, I try to stay away from that stuff because... Yeah, it doesn't help a lot of different organs in your body when you put a bunch of purified things in it. But anyway, BRB chat. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to get up and have a, a little bit of a break.
All right, I'm back. Getting comfy back in my chair. Crummy boyos. Need a little bit of pets. Alright, let's hop back into it. Maybe I can use entrance signs on my stairs going down. You can't put the furniture above stairs, sadly. It's like two pieces of furniture interacting with each other. <laughs> get lost in your own museum. Yeah, I get that happen a lot to me, too. Yeah, stretching is always good. If you uh, don't stretch, you'll have problems long term. All right, we didn't talk to our NPCs yesterday, really, because it was a Sunday. So we probably need to do that today. I feel for you on that. In some areas, I want to fill in. There's an island on a slim walk waterway that leads to off area than a sandbank I could get views and go into the sandbank instead of going around I might fill those in yeah the island's just big enough that it's easy to get lost in it well, that's a good idea put like a tiki bar have it be like a little bit of like a, a fancy spot like a little place to pull up a boat and hang out type of thing maybe I think I've been de too many areas I'll need their meat yeah especially if you're going to be key farming meat's always a good thing to have welcome back and yay crummy thank you yeah like you couldn't put entrance signs on these guys because they count as double furniture which is a little weird I hope there's a, a way that we can have, like, wait, I need to bring iron over. Oh boy, I only have a couple bits of iron left. Franklin, my man! Like, being able to place certain furniture underneath pergolas and stuff, like, I really hope we're able to do some of that stuff. It reminds me of um, Insatisfactory. This might be something that's game engine related because Satisfactory uses Unity and or uses um, Unreal, and this uses Unity, so there might be some restrictions. But uh, Insatisfactory, a lot of people want it to like glitch things together. I guess is the way to explain it. And um, they eventually had. Um, what they call it soft hit boxes and hard hit boxes so you could like some items had like hard hit boxes that you couldn't glitch things together but then they added oh what am i missing old contraptions um a way to like clip things together um with soft hit boxes so you could like the game would tell you like there's a hit box here are you sure you want to place this thing like the sign inside of it um, so I sort of hope we get something like that in the game where there's like the pergolas have like a soft hit box so you can put flowers and furniture underneath them thanks for the follow uh bro Dan bro bro Dan bro Dan I'm guessing it's bro Dan Where, where the crab chops are, can the water area spawn crocs? I believe so. Any too deep water should be able to spawn crocs, but those things might count as, um... Oh, I'm definitely going to need more old contraptions. But they might count for, as furniture, so they might not have... They might have a hitbox that reduces spawning. Yeah, soft hit boxes. I hope they add something like that to the game. That's probably not going to be something that's added until like 
release. So we'll have to deal with this stuff for a while, but maybe in release or maybe an update after release, James will work on it. I think he's focusing on, you know, actual content before he deals with like the the details of it. Or even stuff on top of the pergolas would be nice. Yeah, that would be cool. Like have the the underneath be a soft hitbox and on top would be a hard hitbox. So that way you can um, place stuff on top of it. I imagine he would probably do something. He'd probably add something that's that would do that. Sort of like the bridges that are, are currently in the dev menu. Come on, game. Stop being... Oof. It's feeling a little laggy. I think it's loading in everything for the first time. Oh, I just realized I forgot something, chat. We reloaded the game. Gotta click our super pocket watch, which we can't click inside. Yeah. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah. Click one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Yep. So we have slowed down time. Yeah. If the crab trap water areas can spawn crocs, I'll have to rethink that area. Maybe put a fence around it so crocs won't spawn in it um one way of thinking about it is if there's like you can check to see if fish spawn in there and if you see fish spawning then there's a good chance that a croc will spawn but if if there's no fish spawning there's also there's a good chance then you'll be fine You know what? You can have this wood too. I don't feel like going back to save it. Yeah, silver pocket watch is a must in this game. At least for the way I play. You know, I like doing stuff. And I like having nice hour long days. By far, Silver Pocket Watch, most useful item. Which, I mean... I guess overall, it might not be. Come here, Frilly. Fight me like a man. That was cool. I need tons of thunder sacks. Jesus. Game, come on. Oh, and we got a frilly head underneath here too. Yay, thunder sacks. Good point. I've not seen any fish in there. It's a thin strip of water. 10 by 1 with 2 tiles deep. Or 10 crab pops. <laughs> crap pot traps. That's funny. Um, yeah, I would... If you don't see any fish in there, then I would assume that... Um, the the crab traps are... Uh, are, like, furniture that are stopping spawn. Spawns. Anything new in here? I don't know if I have a black singlet. I know I have some colored ones. 
I think I have everything else. Should look at the catalog. Can I order? The streamer shirts? No, I cannot. Oh wait, those are dresses. I can order them. Okay. Yeah, there's another one besides spec that I haven't gotten yet. You know who, who we haven't checked on today? What are you doing, Sharko? You're pretty dumb. Did you spawn out here? Like, that makes no sense. We haven't checked on uh, Rocky. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Look into my eyes, nothing but my eyes. Sharkos are weird, man. I'll never understand why they like spawn on land. Pretty sure I have a bedside table, but let's just buy it just in case. I'm pretty sure I have this couch, but let's just double check. We're probably up to like maybe 95 of these things that we've purchased. Still not even halfway. It's your birthday, Melvin. Hope you like Pavlov. Nope. Does nobody like Pavlov? The fast the past like Like five people that I've given cake to. Nobody's liked it. It sort of bugs me. I feel like there should be a cake or something that um, everybody likes. Just wholesome, simple Tucker that would that could fill your belly. Is Tucker like a term for food in Australia? Hard yakka though. Pulling all this together took some hard yakka. Yakka, hard work. I reckon I can get you the best Tucker on life. There must be, that must be a term I don't understand. I've never heard that term before. Yeah, special event cake, you know? Something that, um... Every single, like, NPC will like. Oh, you know, I forgot the tin bars. Did I mess up Nancy's hearts again? No, she's still at one and a half. All right. Oh, come on. Turn to meat. Maybe they make like an ice cream cake or something.
cake that everyone will eat. Multiple gears today. Cheesecake, because it's not easy for cheese to, to be cheesy. I'd be okay with that. I also hope they make it so that, like, eggs or something could work in that. Uh, crab pots. All right, we do have some stuff that we need to put away. Path, 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 a tin bar, a chicken egg, and more path. I guess it makes sense that you get animal products. And we've already, yeah, we already assume we get all of the ores. Is there any other furniture I need to bring back? Yeah, there's more furniture. Oh, were there some food that could only be used with regular milk? Was that changed in the experimental? I think it was changed. It was damper was one of them, I believe. Yeah, flour, milk. Now you can do high quality. And <clears throat> I think quiche was another one. Um, was pasty one? No. Yeah, that looks to be fixed. Looks like you definitely need a big egg for scones. That's interesting. How about lamington? Yeah, lamington's been fixed. Pavlov needs big eggs. I think having the big egg recipe is not that big of a deal, though. Like, requiring high-quality stuff, I couldn't sort of understand. Parm and chips. The crowd favorite. That does look tasty. Yeah, I don't see anything that requires the small, like, the regular stuff anymore. So that's definitely been fixed. Which is a nice aspect. Lamington. Yeah, it's, all of that's all good now. They fixed it. So now you don't have to have the low quality stuff. Which is nice. Um, let's do our last NPC stuff. And then we'll go drop off our furniture and clothes. There's no sharks around here, right? Now nah, we're good. Just a ton of jellies. <laughs> Pretend you're the exhibit. 
I'm a perfect candidate too, because I've never tried an escape. Theo, you're such a gooball. Like such a goofy person. In my world, my Vombat has no food or shelter, but has five hearts and makes high quality milk, but no mess to clean up. Yeah, it doesn't eat. Because if it eats, it can poop. That's the one thing, like, these guys can eat. Um, I think this is considered grass, the ferns, because it's like tropical grass. And any of the, I don't think this is the, what's it called? The spin effects. I don't think that counts. Oh, it's Monday. You don't work today. Where you at, Theo? You hanging out about? Not Theo. Erwin. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's see. Let's, um top off our bins now that we know that this is where we're going to keep them. I think this area is looking nice. We still got a lot of uh, uh, what's it called to do. A lot of terraforming to do, but I think it's good for now. Turkey, turn to meat. If Theo's being a normal Theo, he has gone over this way. Hey, I've been looking for you. I could have sworn I had 10 of you guys. Dude's been hanging out in the... Come on, buddy. In the wheat field. I knew I'd find you eventually. Oh, come on, punk. I sold regular milk Millie. She was too far from home to lead back and across the oceans. Regular milk Millie. <laughs> we still need to rename all of our dudes. We haven't gotten that far. Oh, we also need to redo these paths. I totally forgot that I didn't have any of the, the path when I was messing around with that. Come on, you punk. You've been free for too long. It's time to get... to get put safely back into your pen. It's like they come to where you whistle. There's only like a five block radius. I feel like the whistle should go a little bit farther. Come on, bud. Punk the pleep. Yeah, what's this guy's name? Danielle? Danielle, you're going to be called Punk. There you go. Look at the little baby peeps. They're so cute. Alright. We need to rename that guy. Uh, animals. Pleepers. Danielle. Punk the Pleep. He's an old dude. Been around for nine years.
Alright, Theo is usually hanging out over here. You know what, let's uh, beat up these guys. Need your meat, bros. Broskies. Do a circle. Oh boy. Don't beat me up. Nice. Got them all. None of them ran away, right? Nope. Whoa. How many eggs were in one spot? That was like four eggs in one spot. Holy moly. I think we're just going to put these guys here for now. I'll deal with them later. Alright, Theo, normally you're hanging out over here. And you're not. Not Theo. Erwin, I swear I know your name. Alright, well, we're going to have to go back this way. You in this field then? Alright, I don't know where Irwin is at all. We're gonna have the helicopter to find him. Where did I put the helicopter? Yeah, it's over there. Get out of here. I thought I cleared this. Maybe I didn't clear this area out of turkey. Or of, yeah, turkeys. I could have sworn I cleared out most of these areas. These pens. Yeah, that was weird. I grabbed one egg and then like two eggs flew into the sky and smacked each other. Very weird. Erwin, you blend into the wheat fields. Sometimes he hangs out over here. This was nice. Yesterday was a trash recycling day and they rang the doorbell but didn't leave a message. Turns out one of the bins was broken, so that is why they rang the doorbell to let us know. That's nice of them. We've lost a, a lid for our regular trash can for like probably a year, two years now. It happened when we had a really big storm. And they've yet to replace it. Alright, I have no idea where Erwin went. You hanging out with the animals? Nope. Huh. Is there a chance he went into the house and is like hiding? 
Nope. Huh. That's the first time I... Well, not the first time, but it's one of the few times I haven't found Erwin at all. He's like straight up on vacation today. Yeah, yet to replace my trash can lid. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. Um... Salad. <laughs> what a name. Alright, let's work on this area. Pick up all the poo. And it is... 12.30, so I have another hour. So I think this might be the last day. All right, and I wanna have a path go on that side. So I think we're going to squish this mountain down on this side. I sometimes feel like putting a fence around the marketplace so I can find the NPCs easier. Yeah, I don't think the that would totally help you though, because I'm pretty sure they can phase through fences. I might be wrong about that, I've never done any experiments, but I don't know if a fence can actually keep them contained. Like, if they want to go to Tuckerbox, I think they'll just, like, teleport through a fence and call it a day. But that would be mean. I mean, nothing can be as mean as what I did to uh, Theodore. Shove him inside of the ocean, call it a day. So as long as you don't do that, you're not being too mean. At least in my book. <laughs> Poor Theo. Animals, you're probably not comfortable with me just compacting your head, so get out of the way. I was working on the waterfall idea, then woke up and realized I had been only been dreaming. Not sure if that is possible. I um woke up this morning and like I was like sitting in bed and um not sitting in bed, but like sort of still had my eyes shut, like not fully awake. And I was totally like thinking about what I was going to do in this animal area. So, I completely understand, like, having dinkum on the brain. I have it happen to me pretty often. I think we're going to put this there. Mm. Oh, I used up all the hardwood, didn't I?
Yeah, I don't have hardwood. Oh, no, I do have hardwood. Never mind. Five o'clock is when they go to bed. Interesting. I think I verified that I don't like... Not verified, but I think I sort of proved I don't like this two to three thing. I think it makes sense when you do the... The three path to do a four. But I think this needs like a two wide area. That is cool, though. It means your mind is active. Yeah, but it's a little, like, concerning that, like, the first thing I think of when I wake up is Dinkum. I'm not sure if that's a healthy thing. I might be, uh... I might be playing the game a little bit too much. Just, just a little bit. We have put a crazy amount of hours this week. I forget what the exact amount is, but it's somewhere around like 60 plus hours of gameplay. I haven't made a plastic model in a while and the unmade ones are piling up a plastic model since starting Dinkum I think I've only bought one model like car models type things or like airplane models those types of uh, models I haven't done one of those since I was way little. Yeah, I wanted to get a bunch of stuff done in the game. So that's partly why I've been like so hardcore about playing. But it is still pretty crazy to think that I've been putting, you know, 40, 50 hours into of the game every day or uh, this week. You know, like, there's full-time hours, and then there's, like, whatever the hell you'd call how much playing I am doing in this game. Gundam models. Oh, that's pretty cool. And have considered kit bashing them. I'm not skilled builder, though. Gundam and also DIY my own parts. That's pretty cool. I used to watch Gundam as a kid. Said so Gundam Wing was the one that got me into it. I think Hiro is the main character in that game. I haven't watched it in so long. Not game, but in that show.
I never watched the series, but did watch Endless Waltz movie and really liked Wing Zero. Yeah, Endless Waltz. Endless Waltz was a good uh, movie. I haven't seen it since like high school, but that was good. brings back brings back the days watching an anime we had I think I mentioned this at one point we had an anime after school activity there was a, a teacher that allowed us to stay after school for a couple hours and we'd watch uh, a few different animes it was pretty amusing though, because like the teacher would like sit for maybe the first ten minutes, so we would um, so we'd have you know our our PC per se anime that we'd watch initially, and um, then when like they would get up and go and do stuff, um, we would bust out you know the more risque ones or not like you know super risque, but like um. The ones that were more a little bit more questionable on if a high school student should be watching it. I grew up watching cartoons like Ghetto Robo, Geta Robo, I believe it's called Getter Robo, Raidine, now called Raidine, Diapalan, Tai Gaitiaga, about cars that combine into robot. And Johnny Soko, giant robot series. And of course, Bugs Bunny, etc. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I grew up on cartoons as well. I love that stuff. We were talking about that earlier, me and my wife. Like, what type of cartoons are in the morning now? Like, there used to be, like, there used to be all types of, like, animes and stuff that played in the morning, and it doesn't seem like that's a thing anymore. Like, on Saturday morning cartoons, like, whatever happened to that? Sort of sad to think that that, like, is gone now. I think originally it was Getter Robo, but now it's called Getter Robo. So many cartoons on Saturdays. Love Saturdays. Yeah, that was like my favorite time of the week. Like, get up in the morning, watch a bunch of cartoons. Used to be a thing me and my dad would do. We'd like get up and um, me and him would like watch different uh, cartoon series that were that were available to watch. He used to love, um, oh, what's the one that it had, uh, it was like the, the internet, um, cartoon, was it Glitch? was one of the characters and Fong Fong was like the old head dude that like was like the the town or like the the leader of the area
and there was uh like the tv guy that was always like i sell stuff for 9.99 9.99 oh what was that show called i forget about that that's a bummer You never didn't know if you ever saw that show. Yeah, it might be something that was local to America or something. Thundercats and Sailor Moon. Yeah. My sister used to love um Sailor Moon. We would um like argue like Who was like the best Sailor Moon character? I think my favorite was when they had um, like Neptune, uh, Uranus, and like Pluto show up. It always was confusing to me why Pluto was like one of the more powerful ones. I was like, you're one of the tiniest planets. But I guess the reasoning was the that it was um, like the first planet per se on the exterior of the, the area. So it was like the guardian planet. And I still never quite understood it. Hey, Gokan. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, you're, you're, um, reminding me of Dragon Ball Z. Oh man, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z were like a staple of my uh, cartoon watching. That was my favorite when I was younger. It was such a bummer when they like just stopped showing it when I like at one some point. I was like, what's going on? Lionel, yeah. What was the they also had that one goofy one where like they had the blobs? Was that Thundercats? I used to watch the original Kakaida and Go Rangers. Go is equal to five in Japanese, in my opinion. The original Power Rangers was a huge ripoff. Yeah, I could see that being a ripoff. I can see that. Um, I think we're going to want to maybe, we only have two left to place, so maybe we put them here. Do we... There's a lot of those types of cartoons that were ripped off, though. Of, like, a rip-off of each other. It happens. I mean, a lot of video games are also sort of, like, a rip-off of another video game. I think, uh, Pirate Software had a good explanation of it. Like... Like, every game takes the the best of other games. Like, the most popular thing of another game and then sort of, like, puts their own spin on it. A remix? That's what he called it, yeah. We're constantly remixing video games. We're not actually, like, creating new content a lot of the time. Which I can sort of understand.
He was explaining that back when uh, Hal World came out. Everybody was like, this is a ripoff of Pokemon. He's like, dude, every game is a ripoff of, of another game. Like, Mortal Kombat was a ripoff of, like, another game. Maybe it was Soul Calibur or something. I don't know. Like, all games are sort of a ripoff of each other. Whatever works is what works, and the game studios sort of take what works and, and rolls with it. Can't get bent out of shape about that stuff, because most of the games that you really enjoy are probably a ripoff of another game. Um, hardwood. I think we're just going... Yeah, let's put this fence over here so that way we have at least one... Oh no, I can do this. That works. Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Yeah. Oh man, that was a Toonami on uh, Cartoon Network. Moon Knight. <laughs> Brain Toot. Moon Blobs. What was it? Uh, C Lab, like 2020 or something. I got a kick out of that one. Things with Power Rangers is that, or the thing with the Power Rangers, in your opinion, did a direct ripoff of Go Rangers, color for color, gender, abilities, etc. Years later, Power Rangers went in on their, on their own angle. Yeah, I wonder if that was a, um, like if they paid for that idea. How to explain that? Like, um, like how pocket monsters turned into Pokemon. Like the, the Japanese studio was like, you know, we're not going to make an English version and we're not going to bother translating Go Rangers. Maybe we just sell the intellectual property or the idea to an American studio and have them rip it off us. That's like a thing that happens sometimes. I'm not saying that is what happened, but it could have been what, what sort of happened. Probably didn't, you know? It probably was just like a straight ripoff, you know? That's one of the, the crazy aspects about some things is that, like, there's like copyright laws, but copyright laws are generally only for your country. So, like, once you're in a different country, like, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything, basically, you know? <laughs> And the copyright laws in Japan are crazy. So, like, all you really have to do is just never sell that movie in Japan and you're basically fine. Maybe not call it a ripoff, call it a growing evolution. Yeah, I could see that. Because it's, like... It expanded the genre, you know? And... And if, like whatever studio in Japan wasn't going to bring it to America, then it never hurt anything. Sure, it didn't, you know, it wasn't great for the people that knew of one that existed versus the other, but it's not like it actually hurt the bottom line of the studio. So no harm, no foul in that way. I think I want to get rid of this whole area and make a pond. And maybe we add um, some water beds up here and make like a pond up here too and maybe a little bit of a waterfall.
All right, let's go drop off some junk that's in our pockets and deal with the letter. I used to collect the Go Ranger toys. Sentimental to you, yeah. We all have that type of thing. Like certain, um, not games, but like certain shows. You know, all of this junk can just hang out here for now. I don't need it in my pockets. I think we're... Do I still have... Oh no! I'm all out of spark and soup. Boo. Ah, oh, it is getting end of day. What time is it? One. It won't be... So I, we might have another day left. So I probably shouldn't stay here late. So I guess we'll just... We'll just squish some stuff called a day. back when Power Rangers came out and thinking if Sabin, I think, would have gone, would have publicly given respect to Go Rangers for inspiring his idea of Power Rangers, then I'd have no issue, but he refused to. Yeah, that is a little beat. I completely agree. This can't work because um, water beds can't be too deep. Be our waterbed area. <laughs> Sorry for the Power Ranger people. You're good, man. I don't know anybody that um, is still super into Power Rangers at at this point. Like I grew up with Power Rangers, but like. Eh. I'm not that big into it. It's just, you know. Where should I put the animal feed?
Maybe we put a tower here. Thunder, thunder, thundercats go. You never watch Power Rangers? Yeah. The, the original was like a, a thing for my age group. Like you would run home um, to like go see th uh, Power Rangers as it came out. Because like you'd get home from uh, school and it would be like just that time um, where it would be coming out. So like if you were on the bus for a little bit too long, like you wouldn't be able to, um, you'd miss it. Which, that was a problem when I was older. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. But, um... Once I got to that age, I didn't necessarily care as much. But I knew kids that were super into Power Rangers. Like, I still have, um, I think it's a Green Ranger shirt. I knew people that were, like, super into that stuff. They're, they're like, oh my gosh. I was never that big into it. I thought it was like a fun show, but. I wasn't like, this is my jam. <coughs> I had my daughter at that time so we were more into baby shows was that like um barney and stuff that type of thing There's a few shows around that time that for were for like younger people. Arthur. Is there another spot I can place one of these? Maybe. There we go. We want to put, maybe we do brick here. Um, you know what? That is a cute photo. That was that's when we were in uh Puerto Rico. Yeah, I think that was um the Puerto Rican like giant thingy thing. Yeah, great words, I know. Um maybe this has to go 
in that direction. When we were in Puerto Rico, we uh, went and see, saw one of the like old forts. Yeah. Just found a photo of uh, the old fort that we went to like visit. You had no little ones. The world got lucky. Oh, that's adorable. The world can barely handle the dorkiness of one me. A 1.5 version of me would be too much. Uh, an updated version of you. I like the way you said that. A 1.5 version of me. Alright. I think that's going to be how that works. Um... how I was with Sailor Moon and Thundercats. I need to look up what the other ones that were uh, around that time. So I feel like there was like Thundercats and one that was like that played right around that time. Was Thundercats the one where um... Skeletor was in it? Or am I mixing up one? Gargoyles. That was one of them. Yeah, I remember Gargoyles. And like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and those ones. I haven't thought about those in a while. I used to love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did anybody see like the, the cartoon Casper too? I used to love that show. I played that so much as a kid, like the cartoon Casper. Um, I wore out the VHS. Like the VHS literally didn't work anymore. I used to watch that so much as a kid. He-Man. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. He-Man was the one that had the... The goofy little creatures, the little blobby things, I think. That I was thinking about earlier. Never saw Sailor Moon, but I have some of their action figures, like taking photos and articulating actually my nothing pro, just a hobby. Yeah, Sailor Moon was like one of those, like the models and stuff were huge. I used to have a friend when I was in uh, college who like was really big into, um, I don't know if you'd say action figures, but um, those types of things. Um, I feel like there's another term for like more than action figures, but anyway. Um, her room had like three sides, three sides of her room were just shelving units for that type of stuff. She had like tons of anime ones, Sailor Moon ones, like all types of little figurines. It was it was incredible. I remember what the first time I went to her place for whatever reason, I went into her like room as a kid and I was like, "Holy crap, you've got like 
$15,000 worth of action figures on your wall? And she was like, yeah, at least. Such a dense amount of action figures. Pretty sure I'm ruining this compacted dirt, but oh well. I think let's just verify if I pull this up. Oh no, it's still there. Okay. You know what? Maybe I don't care about this opal being here. a good starting point for all of this. Anything else in my inventory? Yeah, we probably want to place this down. And maybe the pergola for these guys goes here. And then their wind tower, dude. Maybe we put it This is like the path where you have to go to like fiddle with it if it's like broken down or something. By the power of Grey Skull. And Shin Shira, yeah, I remember that. Casper the friendly ghost. For macros, there were some figurines called high complete models. Yeah, like super detailed ones, but they were highly detailed action figures, not models. Yeah, like there's a level between like an action figure that's like just simple, you move it around, and then there's like the ones that don't move around, they're in like action poses. I guess those are considered models. Um... I guess we should maybe bring this over here. So we've gotten those areas sort of figured out. Now we need to work on these areas. I'm definitely going to need to make more of these paths before we come back here. But I think that's fine for now. One of my friends is a professional reviewer of action figures. Phew, he has thousands of figurines. Wow. That has to be a hell of a job. I couldn't even imagine what it would be like to be a professional reviewer of that type of stuff. Like, like you'd have to be an expert on so many different shows and things. Like, wow, that would be intense. To be able to say, like, well, they got, you know, the coloration of this outfit wrong and then this wrong, but they got this right. And, like, this action pose needs to be this way. I'm sure it's probably not that complicated. It's probably just more of like all opinion based things, but. Uh, let's 
stylish bed. Where's this? Yeah, stylish. And then Regal, 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 Regal's behind me. Regal. Yep, we had all of that. Singlet and white st stuff. The white stuff's on the edge. And singlets. Where did I put the singlets? Maybe... Uh, did I put them back here? Oh, chat. Maybe I put them in here? In here? Yep. Alright, we did have that singlet. So that was sort of a waste. Oh well. Running with the dirt printer looks like you're using a vacuum. Just hovering up everything. Yeah. It does sort of have that look. I agree. We did forget to do this thing, but oh well. How many are we up to with meats? We still have a ton more we need, but oh well. We can bring this back now. And hop back over to our area and take a nap. game is uh, not so happy with me. This area is so much smoother. Oh, I forgot this. Yabbies and cookie crabbies. I think this is the chest for this. Okay. Just put that in there for now. battle shovel. And it is 114. Um I don't know if we'll have enough time to do a full day, but you know what, whatever. That seems to be a lot of pressure. Yeah, I could see that being a lot of pressure. I consider him an expert, but he hasn't won any titles like that. I think it would be, too. What is good about him is he does honest reviews. Even if companies give him free items to review, he always warns them. I'm going to be 100% honest, good or bad. I'm so happy crabs and yabbies can be usable. Same here. I hope um the what's it called becomes usable as well. Like, it'd be nice if we could use flake or prime meat in the crab pots, but, um, the mussels. I hope we can, like, cook the mussels. I imagine they would also need to be in the billy can. But then again, you eat mussels raw, so I feel like you could almost, like... Like, you could probably just, like, throw them on the ground and smack them with, like, a tool and crack them open. Does having places more well lit make the game choppier? Probably. Most lighting engines for any game 
are usually the like, laggiest part of the game. So I wouldn't be surprised having like a bunch of like torches and stuff is probably not helping my game. But I also think having so many flowers is probably also bad. Especially like the glow flowers, they probably don't help. Um, you can sort of think of it that any texture that the game has to load is adding memory usage. So, and then every tree and every flower has a certain amount of edges. And each of those edges has to be rendered. And it's like, you know, a polygon or a, a circle, however you want to consider it. And as you start adding up polygons and, and textures and rendering all of this together, the game is going to just lag more and more and more. Um, depending on the game, depends on how well it can handle, you know, 10,000 different items. A lot of games have it so that, um, I think they call it like, um, like foveated rendering type of thing where, um, something within like 10 or 20 blocks of you is rendered at full resolution. And then something that's like from 20 to 50 blocks is rendered at half resolution. Um, and then like stuff that's like super far away is like rendered at like, you know, one tenth the resolution because it's so far away. You can't really tell the difference. Oh, if urchins could be usable. Yeah. Umami flavor stuff. Yeah. Any type of entity that's added to the game is always going to add some sort of lag. Any type of, you know, surface that has to be loaded with a texture or some curved area. Like, the more curvy stuff is, the more polygons it takes to, um, to render it, so... Now, there's also the aspect that as you, um... As you get to newer, newer hardware, like I have a, a 1060, which is a, I don't know, eight year old graphics card. Um, they can, they have more like pixel shaders and pixel processors per like density. And they also have more optimized math processors because all of this is just some giant vector math. Um, like big, uh, a giant, what do you call that? Um, parentheses over like giant list of numbers parentheses or whatever that type of math is called matrix multiplication yeah that's the word i was thinking that's basically all a graphics card does giant matrix math using tons of tiny little multipliers and additions and everything um you can think of every pixel so like you've got a 10 a 1080p monitor that's uh 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels every pixel has to be rendered in what color it's going to be and why is it going to be that colored every like 20 milliseconds or something like that so every 20 microseconds or milliseconds like your graphics card has to figure out like is this frame still blue or is it changing green? Is this getting a lighter shade of green? And it's like constantly doing the math. Um, so most graphics cards are built to have, you know, millions of these little shading vector math multipliers. And then a lot of the like physics of it, like when you jump around, that's your, your CPU. And like the older your processor, the older your graphics card, the slower it can be, the less efficient it can be. Um, and all of that combines together on whether your game's going to lag a bunch or not. You're welcome, Todd. You're getting busy at work, so I wanted to let you know. Alright, well, good luck with your uh, your work. Happy time zone as well. Yeah, safe travels and all of that. Oof, do mushroom path tiles mess up with lag a lot? If so, I might change those out. I don't know if they actually give off light. You know, they, they give off the image of light. But, like, 
me running around with my halo is actually probably more laggy than the mushroom paths. And like this bush and like I bet you these these river things because they have so many little tassels and stuff and the ferns are probably harder for the game to render than that bush. Or like this thing with all those sides to um to the metal thing and like or yeah it's just a compounding N not any individual piece is necessarily worse than the other but lights definitely because like lights have to cast the shadow on the ground here which you can see there's a texture that is it has to decide like on this piece of wood whether it's a perfect circle or not like is it how it's rendering over here and then like on the trees it has to decide what side of this polygon it needs to render so lighting is probably doing far more worseness i guess it's way harder to render that because there's a lot more physics of how the light has to go and do stuff versus like a tree and like all the textures my lighthouse tower is made of mushroom path haha and so is the waterfall yeah i used a bunch of waterfall and uh, that type of stuff as well. The my waterfalls have pearl and the other thing. Um, do I need anything else? We should probably maybe. Bring this over. Ooh, now I remember what we need. We need more of the... I sort of decided, if you haven't noticed, that instead of um, starting a new day, I think I'm just going to spend another 15, 20 minutes playing. And we're not going to do any of our tools or anything, but we'll do some little things. Because it's like almost 1.30, and I'm probably going to stop stream around like 145 at the latest just so that I can have some time to get my fish tank co uh, collapsing stuff ready because I uh, I have to go do that eventually we Thanks for all the knowledge, food for thought for sure. It'll make me more considerate when designing. Yeah, and it's one of those things that there's only so much you can do about it, you know? I wouldn't worry about it too much. That's partly actually why I like um, spreading out stuff and actually spreading out your town further out so that there's more stuff in between can help with the rendering. Because, like, you see how the... Um, the aquarium in the distance is very fuzzy that's that foveated rendering it's only using like one tenth the pixels and, and rendering quality back there and then like the the stuff that's right in front of us the tower the windmill and the the feed towers that's like quarter res resolution so as long as stuff is further enough away it does less and less impact on your stuff If that helps, like, make sense of it all. If a fence is a sunk in, one layer down, will crocs still cross over it, or will they not cross it, even though one layer underground? They won't pathfind over it, but... If another croc is behind them, or if another animal runs into them, like a roo is r randomly running around, there's a very good chance that the Rue will smack into it and move it. And uh, if two animals like smack into each other, they can force themselves over a feature that they cannot pass over, if that makes sense. So the best way to, to keep that type of thing from happening would be to have like a too tall dirt thing or too like, a multi like depth thing so that if they get pushed over they fall into a pit but i wouldn't 
I consider that a um, a side problem, you know, like um, it's a it's a secondary effect. It's not a, a an original effect. So it's not necessarily something that's worth worrying about because the chances of um, a crocodile getting smacked by another crocodile isn't all that high of a chance. You know, and if it does happen, like, oh well. But it's not... It's not something that's going to happen often. Yeah, and like, honestly, the way the game does things, I wouldn't be surprised if um, if even if you had like a too tall wall, like even if like there was two animals next to each other, like right next to this and it's three tall, the way the bush devil like glitched up that wall, I think when an animal like is too far into a block, it just sort of like gets placed above it. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Because like, even if you had, you know, a perfect setup with fences all over in the perfect spot, there's still a chance that, you know, two animals smacking into each other are still going to mess you up. Yeah, that critter is a trap. Imagine if it was programmed that two animals could figure out how to do that on purpose. I might feel like it's breaking the fourth wall. I mean, that could be a hard mode thing, you know? Here's sort of my thought process here. Chickens like being up tall, right? So maybe we put them at the top of this mountain. Also going to want fourth wall. I wonder how Deadpool three will be. <laughs> I haven't thought about that sh that show in a while. Deadpool's a funny show. Like a funny movie. They definitely... Yeah, see how, like, that was a lag spike when I picked this up? I definitely th can say that lights are going to be one of those types of things. And that's sort of like... Like, eventually when the game is full release, there'll probably be less of a problem. But, um... A lot of the times, developers don't mess with um, with lights until later in the game. Like an example is like in Minecraft, um, lighting, like from sky lighting to like ground lighting is one of those things that was super laggy for like the first five or seven years of that game being out. And they 
have redone the lighting engine in Minecraft like three, four different times, and it's still like a laggy mess sometimes. So there's only so much you're going to run into that can actually be fixed. Like lighting is always one of those things that's just a laggy mess in most games. Forgot if you tested. Are sea cucumbers and urchins edible now? I don't believe so, no. I didn't check this morning in the, the dev menu though, so I don't know for positive per se. I would have to go over to my other world in order to figure that out. My, uh, I have a world that's only like two days old but uh i'm pretty sure james like it's what saturday it's the weekend i doubt james is doing any updates to the experimental build right now if i was him i would hang out with my family and call it a day So we might get an update like Monday, but I don't think we're going to get an update this weekend. Sea cucumbers see hard, seem hard to get. So maybe delicacy with a good perk. I don't know, do people eat them normally? I think a lot of that is based on... Um, if James thinks that's like a thing people eat a lot. Like, I can see the... the mussels being edible, because people eat um, cl clams and mussels all the time. But, I don't know if cucumbers are necessarily something people eat a lot of I don't like when I go to like different seafood restaurants I don't think I've ever seen sea cucumber on the menu which doesn't mean that it isn't it's just have you seen it before you know I, I know sea urchins are totally a thing people do eat though but I'm not sure if they eat it... Well, I guess I have seen people eat it raw. But I know it's been used in a... Um, what do these look like? They look like hardwood. Okay. Um, I think sea urchin is used more so in like a, a dish with multiple other things. Because it has that that, what's it called, umami flavor. One of those flavors that's rare to find in food. I'm sure there are people that eat it raw, or eat it, like, you know, mildly cooked all by itself. But on a game I play sometimes for years, players wanted a playable, customizable female character to be. He worked on it for months, and then it came out, and the base model was based on his wife, with her permission, of course, and turns out she had... Huge input on making that character. That's pretty cool. I love that type of stuff when um, they use um, like friends and family type of things. Sort of like how James and Jimmy are, like, family-related in the game. 
Like, I wonder if... Or no, John and Jimmy are, uh, like, related. Like, I wonder if James used, um... Like, his brother, like, as a, uh, like... Maybe his brother's balding, and that's why Jimmy's balding. Or maybe James is balding, and maybe that's why Jimmy's balding. I, I always find that pretty cool when, um developers use their family as like a, a reference point it gives the game like an additional layer of character that is like cool to learn about I ate sea cucumber sashimi before, but not a taste that you want to seek often. Yeah, I've heard of it being a, like a sashimi type thing, but I haven't heard it being like a, a common thing. Like it's never been at any of the restaurants I've been to, so I assume that. And like I like seafood, like I like sushi and all that, so. I've sought out some pretty high-end restaurants at different times in my life, and I've never seen the cucumber be on a list. Like, hey, eat this here. Your change is much better in my petner, which plenty in my area. Yeah, I've, I've, that's because it has that the rare flavor of umami, which I think is like one of the whatever flavors that some people can taste and some people can't. There's like people that have like super tasters that can have like bitter, sour, sweet. Umami, whatever. Good to know, in case I can eat, ever eat one. I'm allergic to much selfish and fish. Oh, that is sad to hear. Lobster and crab is great, though. Yeah, it is. Expensive, but man, is it good. We have um, a lot of crab near our area. Sadly, it's not necessarily the, the most recommended thing to eat a lot because with any fish or seafood, there's a lot of um, chemical contamination in uh, local waterways. That's why like Maine lobster is so well known because Maine is like far enough away from a lot of um, like chemical places and uh, industry. And like since it's in the northern waters where it's cold, a lot of industry just like can't operate there because it doesn't make financial sense. So um, I think that's why a lot of lobster is well recommended up that way because you don't have to worry about, you know, the whole contamination versus any type of crab or, um, yeah, my chooks are in route. They all sort of came up here. They're all sleepy down here, though. Um, 
like crab and lobsters are like bottom feeders. So a lot of stuff. Like if there is a chemical contamination in your area. The bottom feeders are going to be one of the first ones to get it because they are the ones like soaking in the bottom of the water. Which sounds a little messed up, but it's just like the truth of the matter. You know, they're eating the the stuff that's on the bottom and the stuff on the bottom ends up being um, like be it the, the dirt or the plants or whatever that they're sifting through um, is where a lot of that chemical settles. You can have my life's portion of those foods though if you want. <laughs> Your chooks are in the bottom feeders first to get it. Yeah. That's similar to like, um, like rays and, um, like catfish and a lot of the animals that, are known to, um, To eat bottom fish or bottom crabs also have issues. It's one of those things that it goes up the food chain a bit. So anything that's eating, you know, crabs mainly is going to have the same problems that the crabs have. So you have to be concerned about that stuff. It's really annoying how humans ruin stuff like that. Makes me a little frustrated. Like, have you ever heard of some of the stuff that's happened in, like, other countries where, like, industry has, like, legitimately killed off an entire river? Like, it blows my mind that that happens, like... Like, come on, bros. Can we uh, not dump all of our waste into the river, please? Thank you, and come again. Eight, nine, ten. So we need 15 for 25. One more. Um, why do I have to do 25? Why can't it be an even number? Of course I would do that to myself. college I used to go to the beach with friends mostly at night one night I found a dead seagull looked in looked in black oily stuff yeah weeks later I was swimming in the daytime and I got super itchy but thought it was from crashing on the sand I didn't think anything of it but when I got out I was covered in welts found out there was a chemical spill just days before those welts happened to me more and more so I can no longer go onto the ocean because it is go 
yeah, into the ocean because it, unless it is super clean, I still get welts if ocean spray gets on me. I have to be fully covered. That's frustrating as all hell. Yeah, I was talking about that a little bit yesterday where um, the runoff from um, the sugarcane industry in um, where was it? Um, in Florida is part of the reason why they had like a mass dying off of the local uh, fish near their area. And like when we were down in Florida, we, um, we, we tried to go to the beach and we didn't really, we hadn't looked at the most recent problem but because of the the of the sugarcane industry and the fertilizer that they were using like they I forget what caused it exactly but the fertilizer got into the like a, a river or a stream or something and then basically as it was once it was like diluting itself into the ocean it was like super changing the um the pH and just killed off like multiple like a good like 20 percent of the coastline fish so when we went to like a restaurant that was near the, the waterway like it had like a bay access to it it smelled really bad and like they had a bunch of incense candles around trying to make up for it and um as the tide started flowing in instead of going out um like the water just started filling up with dead fish and i was like oh this is a little this is a little rough Like you don't really want to be in that type of situation, so. We ended up, uh, you know, just paying our bill and getting the F out of there. the local fish being affected so badly yeah yeah i think it was fertilizer from the sugarcane industry seeing the fed dead fish at the exit of the restaurant too yeah it was really bad it's really disturbing too to think like, like that's just like a thing that can happen you know industry is just allowed to screw up that badly Florida is not, um, how would you say, the best of America. I mean, we have a term in America where we call Florida has Florida men. And uh, Florida men, they, they have no chill. We had at one point a Florida man who decided that it was uh, okay to like bite people and try to eat them. There's all types of, like, if you want to do a funny thing, go to Google and search your birthday and Florida man. And just see what type of Florida man crap happened on that day. It can be very, very funny and also a little disturbing that that's a thing.
The idea is these beach bars are going to be locations that sell like the things that the animals sell. So we're going to put like cloth and stuff here. I think we're going to have it over here near the water though. It would make more sense. And then we want one near because we'll have cloth and maybe I guess that's and like wool. And then over here will be the two different types of milk. Did they eventually change the fertilizer? No. No, there's nothing that's changed. Absolutely nothing that's changed. That just happens every now and then when like Florida man stories are so unhinged. Yeah, they are, Mel Melanie. It's so crazy that that's like a thing in our reality that is just like happens. One second, chat. They have the swamp puppies. Swamp puppies. I feel like I should know what that is. <laughs> Heard that term before, but my brain is just like un currently unaware of what it is for. No, it's not one person. It's like a whole category of person in Florida. It's a crazy concept that we... Like, Florida is one of those places that... um. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but... um. They don't necessarily care about the people that live there. <laughs> and the outcome of that is a lot of crazy, crazy people. Like, I don't... Like, a lot of people retire there. So you would think that, like, the retirees would care. But a lot of the retirees are only caring about, you know, their own little circle of retiree stuff. So the people that grow up in Florida end up getting, like, the shaft. Like, and their education is basically under, um, like, funded because elderly don't want, they're not having kids, so the elderly don't necessarily want to fund, um, that type of stuff. So a lot of things in Florida are, like, disproportionately, like, weird. Um... Because, like, they have, and, like, it's not this simple, you know, there's way more complicated things that are going around with it. It's also in, like, the Bible Belt. There's also, like, more Republicans or whatever political party down there. So I'm, like, summarizing a lot more than what it actually is, and it's a lot more complicated than any of this. But um, the outcome is that you get Florida, man. These situations where you're just like, wait, what the F? Like, somebody actually did that? Are they out of their right mind? And yeah, basically, they're out of their mind a lot of the time. 
pretty nuts, to be completely honest. Like, uh, I remember I was watching a, a video where they were explaining unemployment in Florida. And, like, say there's, a, like, 10,000 people that apply for unemployment. The average is, like, under 25% get it. And it's because they've specific, like, the governors and different, like, people that have, like, done stuff in the state have put as many, like, things in the way so that you just don't get unemployment. Like, I had a friend who lived down in Florida, and she tried to get unemployment. And it was like, like calling every day, putting emails in, like doing all of this stuff. And like, even after like three months of trying, there was just nothing that worked. Like, it was just like, they just kept denying her and telling her that she didn't do enough paperwork or didn't do this, she didn't have the right form. So she eventually just gave up and like, you know, got a, a very low paying job. It's a full moon every day in Florida. Yeah, that's probably the, the simplest, easy way to say it. Hey, the farms are looking good. Hey, almighty squib. Thank you. We've gotten um, the basic level of it down. We still have to do all of the actual, like, pretty FIing it. But it's getting there. I think, especially after, um, today, we got a lot of the, the basic stuff done that we wanted to get done. Like, all of the paths are there, so now I can sort of, like, figure out how I want stuff to be, um... I know where I want to place a lot of my um, I'm organizing at the same time so my brain's a little preoccupied so I know like I want water here this is all going to be a big waterbed area and then I'm going to bring um, like probably maybe get rid of this hill and make a giant water puddle of like real water uh for these pleeps so i'm like i'm getting the full idea of how i want these decorated and of course the way i do stuff is you you do the terrain first uh well path first and terraining sort of done at the same time and then once you have that figured out Um, you can start doing the decorative things like water, trees, plants, that type of stuff. There we go. Yeah, and then there's... I'm still working on the chooks. The chooks are probably the least figured out area. You can see how much, like, plants are still on the ground. I need to cut all this down. I'm not sure where I'm putting the water or anything, but I've, I've gotten at least, this is where I want their pens to be and their food to be. So, we've gotten most of it fairly decorated. I should probably put some of uh, these lights down. Yeah, I hope everything's going going well in your your little universe, uh, Almighty Squib. I've got uh, a bunch of weird crap to do today, so hopefully your day is going to be a little bit better than mine. <laughs> I don't exactly have the the most exciting thing I got to get done. It happens. Life is a roller coaster. Has lots of ups and downs. Can I just put eggs in here? It's something I'm not sure about. Or do I have to put them in the food modeler? I can just eat eggs. Okay, I didn't know that. Nom 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 nom. 
All right, we'll have to get a food modeler and do this stuff. I don't think... Is there a food modeler for cloth and stuff? Maybe I need to put, like, a shirt or something in there. Let's check that out. I'm done, I think, with paths and lighting, at least. I was hoping to be able to... No. Ah, uh, fooey. I was hoping to put the, the the things that you can make from these animals on that, that beach area. That beach bar. I'm gonna guess I can only... Like, if I can place the item... I can probably put it here. But if I can't place the item, I probably can't put it in here. Yeah, lame. Alright, well that's one way of thinking about it at least. I know a little bit more now. I haven't used those like bars in a while. Um... Do you have any easy suggestions on how to find the mysterious Ted Selly? He keeps invading my searchings. Well... Once you have all of the the NPCs, he'll show up more, more often. So one of the problems is, is that Ted Sully only shows up, um, I think I should just walk through this way, when your visitor center is free. So if you're still early game and you're still having people visit and you need to move them in, Ted Sully won't show up any day that there's a visitor. Um, next thing is he shows up in areas you haven't visited in the day after noon. So once it, like, as long as your visitor center is empty and say you've only been, you know, in the middle of the map or on the, the east side of the map, um, once noon hits, you would want to either get like a, a vehicle and just start running around the area. I would only do like a, like maybe a quick like up down maybe like, cause it, he he will load in, um, in an area that you haven't been that day. So a lot of the times, for me at least, Ted Sully will show up when I'm teleporting around. So like if it's like noon and I've talked to all my NPCs, like he almost never shows up over here because there's not much, like he won't spawn in the water. So I'm usually never close to anything enough over here for him to spawn. But if I like walk this way, he might spawn on this area. But one of the places he spawns the most is when I teleport up here um, around noon time. And like he'll usually whistle and then be like in this field over here. I think he's shown up the most in this area. And um, I'm usually like I've been ignoring my animals for a very long time. So this is one of those areas that I almost never am in. Um, and similar to, like, there's also times where I'll be in my base. And um, because I teleport from here to here, there might be a time where I'm like, eh, I need to go to the airport or I need to go to, like, the bandstand or uh, the quarry area. So I'll as I'm walking over here, he'll spawn over here because this is an area I don't really frequent. Like, all of this area I don't frequent. Um... If that helps you at all. I've heard that there's certain days that it matters. Like on like Tuesdays and on weekends. He has a preferred chance of, of uh, spawning. But I've had him spawn in all types of random days. So I don't think that has much of a, a real 
thing. Oh, I forgot to put my shears. I need to go put them back. It's frustrating. I wonder if the small cabinet nightstands, etc. will have storage someday. Even if a smaller storage? Yeah, I don't know. As of right now, it only matters if it's... A, um... Like, it, they're basically just considered chests, you know? So everything is very similar to each other because it's all considered a chest in a way. I agree. I'd be using kitchen cabinets right now and only use them to have storage space. I would... It'd be nice also to have um, something that can only store a couple of things. I agree. Should probably make more of these. Do water beds use iron? I really hope not. No good. I just need to get Franklin to make me a vehicle so I can search faster. Yeah. If you can, a helicopter is the quickest way, just because you don't have to run around, like, getting into water. Um, if you have a network of bridges, you'll probably be fine. And honestly, teleporting around is usually, like, I almost are never down here. So if I, like, teleport down here, like, there's usually a good chance Ted Sully will spawn somewhere over there. So just teleporting around can almost do more work than even exploring but if you really need ted sully i would recommend you know just flying around the world but just remember that like don't don't do too detailed of a search because it's pretty random you know like he's not going to show up every day um so like a quick pass sort of just like this way, go down maybe like a quarter of the map, this way, quarter of the map, this way, this way. And I would almost ignore all of these little islands in the exterior because it's super rare. For, I've never seen him spawn on them. I feel like he needs like a certain amount of space. But I could also be wrong. I don't actively search him a lot. But I, I did at one point when I was doing the magpie searching. Because I needed a bunch of arrows. But it can be frustrating if you spend like a whole day searching for him and he's not there. So that's why I recommend to just sort of... Like do a quick look around uh, and do like maybe four passes at most. I would definitely also recommend doing like a a bridge area like bridges all over the place so that way you can get places especially if you're going to use like anything but a helicopter once you get a helicopter nothing really matters at that point because you know you just fly over the place hmm Same here, at random days my experience with Ted Sully might be different. Not sure, he tends to spawn in my southeast, where I don't live, but I hunt there often. Yeah, that's like sort of his MO. Like, if it's an area you don't go often, it's almost guaranteed to be where he spawns. He's not one to spawn in an area that you often are at.
make a nice little water feature over here. Um, yeah, let's do it like that. And I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think I was... I might bring some water down here. I don't know. I think I'm out of ideas for today, though. Another thought is that for ages, I never heard him. Then I realized I think it was my user interface in-game that was off, and I turned that up the volume and I could hear his whistle. Whenever he spawns, there's a little logo also that shows like, you heard a whistle. So even if your volume is a little low, it shouldn't be too difficult to like see that. <sighs> All right, chat. I think that's gonna be it for me today though. I've got to go get ready to collapse that fish tank and whatever else is gonna be involved. I'm not sure exactly what else is going to be involved. Life is complicated. Yeah, I kept not noticing the message. Yeah, it happens. It will definitely do that too. Thanks for the extra help. Yeah, good luck. I hope you find them. Um, We've got some good work done today. We still have to cut off this island here and terraform the edge of our chook area. Um, and then from there, it's going to be finish up the water areas for the pleeps and the chooks, cut this area, and then we're going to have to redo, we need to fill in this, our, our sand dunes, and, um, and then it's going to be, you know, plant trees and make stuff pretty, but I think we have a, a good baseline to everything. Um, tomorrow we'll probably have a longer stream as long as nothing comes up later today we'll see i mean i might even stream later today if it's really just um grab a fish tank and move on but i feel like i'm gonna have to collapse this fish tank bring the fish somewhere reset it up so it's gonna be way more complicated than i uh it'll probably take me hours so we'll see but I want to thank everybody for hanging out today. I really appreciate you being here and watching me stream. Um, ooh, tomorrow's going to be a Jimmy day. So we'll have to deal with Jimmy tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your time zone, be it day or night. Um, hope to see you in a stream in the future. Um, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you didn't enjoy the video, thumbs down it that's fine too just leave a comment so i know how i can improve um if you're on twitch don't forget to follow so you catch me in the future thanks again for you guys hanging out you guys make streaming a very enjoyable experience um oh yeah and shout out to vod watchers you guys are amazing so uh yeah i'll see you guys either i'll see you later have a good one ttfn